Hey, we're live. I hope the camera's in focus. I don't know if it is. I'm drinking an energy drink. You're dra Go back. You're drafting. One more pick. Okay. Sean is currently completing his fantasy draft. It was originally scheduled for hours ago, but, but everybody back home in, in good old Michigan decided to draft later, which meant really later for us. Oh, yeah. Sean's visiting. He'll be on camera soon. Uh, I wish the can we can we put the chat on that wind on that monitor right there? Probably could, yeah. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to the chat here. Oh yeah, lots of uh, 3D printing professor. Joe was here first, and then uh, Carl was here next. So Carl's currently playing with the CR30 uh, with the Infinite Z belt printer. Some people say it's an Infinite Y, and they're wrong. Some people don't want to call it a 3D print mill, but that's a conversation for Twitter. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh boy. Hey, we got some people jumping in here. Fragger frags a lot. How's it going? Joey Pomeroy, what's up? Rojo Droner, what's up? French fries derp. Hello, back to you. Yeah. Kit, greetings. Greetings. Mark Rhodes, I heard Sean in fantasy. What did I miss? Honestly, I'm going to let your mind take that and just run through the fields with it because that would be fantastic. WFO Writer, hello everyone right back to you. Hi, John C. Cody Smith, what is up? Uh, Bob Carnes, how's it going? Bob Carnes, big fan of yours, Sean. Nipco Disc, are you showing on the screen at the Crest Theater? No. No, we are not. Practical printing greetings from SLO. What's is, uh, South Slow? So, uh, I don't know. He's in California. He's in Mad Max land. Or uh, not Mad Max. Um, Blade Runner. Yes. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Ooh, David Randolph from Printed Solid. I love the Flow IDEX XL. I've been having a lot of fun with mine. I hope to have a lot of fun with mine. I have to get it out of the box. And I have a really... Fernando Hernandez uh, modeled something for me and some friends, uh, a couple friends of mine here in the Seattle area, wonderful people, Raz and Kelly. Kelly had a dream that, that there was a certain kind of candy flying through the air. And I said, I bet the machine that makes that candy fly through the air could be 3D printed. I reached out to Fernando. You know him as DSK001. Uh, I, interview I interviewed him at IRF. Right, Sean? He did. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Um... He modeled it up, and uh, I was trying to print it on my Taz 6 with my It Works 3D tool head. Uh, I tweeted about that months ago because that tool head just ate itself. I have to send that tool head back to Zach at It Works 3D, and the Taz 6 has a new home. I just have to find a box to send it off. Uh, so this project is slated for the CraftBot Flow IDEX XL. It could be the CraftBot IDEX Flow XL, because it's the flow generation. It could be the CraftBot XL Flow IDEX. Flow IDEX. Flow Rida. Oh. Flow Rida. No? No? Oh. Florida. Florida. Uh, YouTube Studio, it's giving me an error about keyframes. Apparently, I have too many keyframes? I don't know. I'll check, I'll, I'll check the OBS. Keyframes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just telling you what it's telling me. I, I don't know anything else. I really don't. I don't know anything else. It's telling me too many keyframes. Too many keyframes. Uh, honestly, once, once Sean gets done drafting, he'll be over here and he'll take care of all of this. Right, Sean? Yeah. Sorry it's so late. Uh, we were doing fun stuff today, and then my son had um, baseball practice, and then, uh, got your microphone on? I turned it on. Hey, can they hear you? Well, they might be able to hear you. There you are. Okay, you adjust that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. What's too many frames? What? I don't know. <gasps> Did you know this? Did you see this? Mm-hmm. That's amazing! It's wonderful. I didn't know you. 
Sean's uh, here for two weeks. Sean uh, it flew back here so we could get some stuff done. We have a really cool project planned with the P.O. Poly uh, Phenom Noir. We sure do. And uh, I just finished putting together a lot of the parts for it at home. I sent, yes. the, I sent the picture and I text. I saw it. I saw it. And uh, testing, testing this project with these resins could result in a lot of destruction at very high speeds. Yeah, we're going to try and do um, some high frame rate with that. Try. Yeah. Try. Try. Oh, we have a $2. $2 from who? Spencer Bish. Spencer Bish? Yeah. What's up, Spencer? What's Spencer say? See, we got to put that up there, man. I know, I know, I know. He says, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Can we put that up there? Uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay. We're just getting the stream started. Uh, the box is right there, and on top of the box is some filament, a lens cap, my orange camera case. Um, oh yeah, HDMI right there. Look at that. Hopefully, this doesn't. We'll see what happens. Blow things up. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse than the stream for Sid and I were on. That's. <laughs> oh, I heard the. I saw something new sound. Yeah. It is on. a it is a smart TV. I mean, it tells you when it boots up that it's it's smart. Look at that. Ooh, look at this indeed. But why is it frozen? Why is the video on that frozen? I I I don't know. Okay, but we just want we just we don't we just want this. We, we don't want the up. we don't want it mirrored, I, do we? I, I just plugged it in. Hey, look the thumbnail. <laughs> give give me a second. Okay. <laughs> All right. Settings. Hey, while, while you're doing that, Sean. Yeah, yeah. While you're doing that. Oh. oh. oh have a look at this. Oh. This is a Flash Forge Creator Pro. <laughs> Boy, it's dusty. It's dusty. From 2014. This is my very first 3D printer. This is the one that started it all. So we have a video planned for Sunday? Yes. We have a video planned for Sunday, and I talk a little bit about this in retrospect, and I had to find it. So I got it, and now it's been unpackaged. Uh, one of the things, though, here, let me put this down. Oh. Uh, it's uh, heavy. It's heavy. It's got a poop tractor sticker. Poop tractor? Can you make the text bigger? I don't know how. It's like, it's like Apple Shift plus plus plus. I'm not, uh, 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 Windows Shift plus plus plus. Control hit, Shift maybe? Can, maybe, control the, and the plus, hit the plus key. Yes. Makes everything bigger. Oh, it's all bigger. <laughs> can, you can read that? I can read that, great. Great. Cody, Joel, mic stopped working a little. My mic stopped working a little? I didn't touch your mic, I only touched my mic. Oh. Okay. Uh, I will increase the volume on mine. Is it okay. better? Oh, you know what? Maybe we're way back. See, hit that, hit that blue button right oh, there. Oh my God! There we go. Your thingy is reverse. My what? <laughs> your your scrolling is reverse. Scroller. It, it's inverted. Ah, uh, it's inverted. Joel, wait. Uh, from Kit, Joel, that loose thread dangling from the right sleeve of your shirt. The right sleeve of my shirt. What? Well, there is the my. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Right here. Nailed it. Rojo Droner, $10. Uh, just got to say you inspired me to start 3D printing. Now I have an Ender 3 Pro and a Flash Forge Finder. Hot diggity. Well, thanks for the $10. See, everybody says, Mike is good. And thank you for the, thank you for the $10. Uh, 3D Mech Guy, I feel like Joel is the Linus for 3D printing. Is that because I drop things? <laughs> is that because I talk with my hands? You have a distinguished voice. If the mic is good, top, top, uh, type into the chat, mic is good, I guess. We'll see. Text vomit. All right, we're going to do more, more cameras? Sean's going to get more cameras. Once we get more cameras, then I will lift the giant box over to the table. Mm -hmm. It might not even fit. Might, uh, lots of people say mic is good. I muted, so. Oh. Why'd you mute? I'm chewing. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Kit, thank you. Once, uh, once I seen it, I couldn't unsee it. That makes sense. So 
a dangling thread. I thought it had to do, I thought there was a, a design on my shirt that was triggering you. Tri yeah. Triggering. <sighs> Boy, we can't just, we can't. It's just weird having that. Oh, you want this? Hey, you know what? You can just put it right on here because the thread collapses. I know, it's great. It's wonderful. Uh, it's already got it. Uh, well, just, uh, just use your, it's got the little thingy that pops out that you can twist with your thingy. Thingy? Oh, you're not strong. I can't get the, the, the proper torque. A, uh, Arizona Cowboy One. I hope that's what the Arizona stands for. Not until Joel installs his air, own air conditioner. Uh, funny story. I've, I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. I actually, uh, I built my kitchen. I built my office and laundry room. I built two kitchens. Yeah, come on. Uh, Stevie Jones 06, let's see that big box. Ooh, it's UWU. Is that, the cry is that a crying emoji? Everybody seems to like Mike. Joe Gray, you do kind of have a radio voice now that I think about it. I've heard that. I've heard that from a few people. I've been on the radio before at um, uh, 106.1, back when it was Kiss. Now it's Hits. My buddy Jubal is the morning show now. Jubal? Jubal's the morning show now. And then Bender moved over to 95.7 The Jet. Nip Cow, Nip Cow Disc, Shoreline, Washington is my old stomping grounds. I love Shoreline. Uh, uh, Zoe Elz, Elzanova? Bobby Duke collab when? Uh, I had Bobby Duke on one episode. He helped me introduce the Thanos sword. He did. Yeah, yeah. Robert Cowan is in the chat. Oh, I love Robert. Saija Dinger, Handyman Joel, that's true. So Robert Cowan um, got a, remind me Robert, it was a Stratasys. Stratasys? Yes. Stratasys, or uh, it was a giant machine that he kind of took apart and tried to make work like a, a normal consumer 3D printer. That's how I first found him. But he also does uh, BattleBot stuff, right? I'm remembering right, aren't I? And Saijin Dinger, uh, uh, KISS was always 99.9. No, that was KISW. KISW. Uh, the skating rink in my old hometown was burning yesterday. It was burning, so I just, no, it's very bad. Andrew Barth, $5. Thanks for encouraging me to get that CR-10. Totally worth it. Uh, Andrew Barth, for those that don't know, uh, worked with, for, at, during uh, the Smithsonian when Adam Savage put together that replica of the Apollo door. In fact, I think Andrew may have modeled it. Wow. And, ah, see, look at Robert Cowan, right? Astratasis BST768. Yes. Cody Bellarose, finally making money with 3D printing. That's fantastic. Good for you. Good for you. Tech for, tech for Kids C, nice shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Robert Cowan, BattleBots is back. I leave it about a month to film the next season for Discovery. Robert, get in touch. I want to uh, I want to visit. I want to visit. <laughs> Loyal Moses with $50. That's a lot of milkshakes, my friend. All right, I made it. Uh, Loyal Moses, uh, he is, I, I, I learned of him because he tweeted at me. He bought some Ray's 3D machines because of my videos. And, and since then, I've learned that he is uh, he's a good dude. He's got himself a ranch uh, east of here. And uh, he's safe. I know there's been some wildfires in eastern Washington. Uh, he is safe. His family's safe. And he, he uses uh, 3D printing for awesome stuff. And he, has a sol he is solar on his farm. And so all of his 3D printers run off solar. And Andrew Barth modeled the whole thing from a 3D scan. That's right. So that Apollo 11 door that Adam Savage put together with the parts from everywhere, Andrew Barth modeled that from a 3D scan. Hey, Sean, why is the main camera so dark? Like DC dark? Is it that dark? I don't should, know. Should we adjust? Uh, Are you going to do it in there? Okay. Uh, Sean, is, uh, he's looking at it. Nope. I'm not going to touch it. Because if I adjust that, then i got to adjust. It's just... 
What it is what it is. You can you can go. Oh, I can yeah, I can adjust the aperture. Go, it's like f five six. Go to f four. But do I need to? I don't. I don't know. People as people say, it's dark. I have made it less dark. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Oliver Knowles, please see my comment. You're the best YouTuber BT dubs. Aw. It's just... That's really nice of you, Oliver. Thank you so much. Also, we have camera two now. Do we... Oh, really? Yes. Well, would you like, would you Thank like you, me? Oliver. I don't want to... I don't want to... Oliver, we had a moment. So you I did. didn't want to shortchange that. It's a that. very... Yeah, it was a very good moment. Look at this. Ingredients that don't suck. That's nice. Yeah. Back when uh, I, we'll, we'll get to that craft bot, I swear. So, an RC Maniac says the main camera looks fine. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to fight in the parking lot. <laughs> Dave Keo, one, one EV please. Did you adjust it? Yep. Okay, so then it'll start, it'll start. Yeah, yeah. I see nicer, I see much better, I see much better, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say that it has been Good. a success. Good, uh, Back when I did um, CrossFit, when I was in shape, <laughs> uh, I drank this stuff called Kill Cliff, and it was an energy drink, but it, you know, <clears throat> clean energy. Whatever that means. Uh, I don't know what that means either. Low calorie. Bob Carnes, thanks for the camera adjustment, Sean. Hey, no problem. I owe Sean a milkshake now, thanks to Loyal Moses. Said, glad seeing you, Sean. Say, say Sajin Dinger? Sajin Dinger. Sajin I Dinger. think that's my friend Tommy from when I was a kid. Nice, that's awesome. I think so. Sajin Dinger, if you're Tommy, you oh. let me know. Oh, yeah, it's also good seeing you in the chat. Uh, Gamer 260, craft bot soon. It's getting late here. That's a really, yeah. Yeah, we should, that's a, we should get this thing on the road. Robert, you stop. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. Mm. Zoe, um, talk to Dave. He's in the chat from Printed Solid. His yes. Jesse PLA is wonderful, and it's incredibly decent priced. Dominic, your face is kind of washed out now. That's because I'm pasty. Yeah, we're just... Bacon. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to put it back here. Okay, you're going to get this thing? Spell. I'm going to try. Okay. Oh, wait, you've got a second camera. You can show them oh, the Oh, I can totally show this. Look, it's way over there. It's way over there. There's things on top of it. That's, that's the box, right? Right there. Oh hey, show them, uh, show them a thing. Show them a thing that well, they might uh, get to see soon. This is a thing you'll get to see on Sunday, right here. So we uh, we printed it. That's not Sunday. That's not Sunday. That's uh, sometime in the future. Sunday is is the, the Sunday is another one. Is the other one? Is the other one? Uh, yeah, but this is um, obviously the Millennium Falcon in a IKEA style print in place. Like I called it IKEA style in the yeah, video. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Why is that? Because IKEA comes like flat pack. That's like uh, flat pack. Oh, it's like flat pack. I get it. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, it's, yeah, you, and the, okay. The person who made it is Fix Fix some Dude. dude. Fix Fixum Dude. dude. I, had to read it. I, I, had, I had to read it. I got to show you. He put Fix Some Dude on the Reddit. He wants you to know that it's, that it's Fix Some Dude. Fix Some Dude. He, he, he I puts, love that name. Uh, oh, well, it won't focus. It won't. There we go. He puts it right there. Right there. Well, look at this. Okay. I'll have to. This is upscaled, right? This is this isn't the regular size. That's the that is the regular size. This is regular size. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. But we had to embiggen it a little bit. We tried. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> we did. We tried many many times. <laughs> oh oh wow! Project R three D team. Yeah. What what what? One hundred dollars. Keep up the awesome work. Your work is an awesome uh, gateway what? to getting people interested Project in the R3D. game. Project R3D. The three frames. Uh, you guys. That's insane. That's, jeez. Project R3D, man. <sighs> I need a rail core. That's what I need someday. Oh, we have Rojo Droner as a new member, also. Ooh, thanks for becoming a member. I'm trying to get over there with this machine. It's just, it's. It's, there's a lot. There's a lot, guys. He's, uh, he's doing his best. I mean, there's a lot of cardboard. He's kind of unboxing it off camera, but I, now well, on camera. I'm just hoping there's, holy crap. Oh, can you see it? I can kind of see it. It's huge. <laughs> You're going to get that up on this desk? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, Norden, more spoiler, there will be a bigger Millennium Falcon print. I mean, that's, 
We said we tried. We tried. We tried. I don't want you to feel disappointed. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Now he's lifting it. He's trying to lift it. We'll, we'll get this. I think I can get this. It's just... I can't move this camera much, guys. It's, it's limited cord, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, help me get it up on the desk. All right, hold on. <laughs> I got it here. Oh, you got it there? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's just let's just do it this way. No, no. Okay, now put your hand on the desk. <laughs> okay. All right, so lift it up. So we can get it up on the or just do that. Do that. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. Wait. Oh, it's not even in frame. I know, so we have to lift it more. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh holy crap this is huge it sure is i'm as wide as i can go too man that's what she said well let's <laughs> you said it not me so uh geez cheesy pete's gee mini christmas this it looks like it's built well um, can we zoom out at all? No, but I'm going to, if you want to like vlog style really quick with that camera okay. and then I can swap okay. lenses. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Hey guys. So Sean has to, Sean has to swap the lens. I don't know if I can with this. Well, just take that off. It's going to take some time. There, yeah, there's nothing. Oh boy. Come on, you got this. Yep, sure, sure, sure. Keep going. <laughs> oh God. Be careful. Thanks. Do you need help? No. Okay. Hey everyone. There's still an iPad uh, in this thing. So Sean has to change the, uh, the lens on the camera because it's, it won't go wide enough. And this machine is a lot bigger than we were expecting. So if you look, the camera, that's actually camera one. It was on a, it was on a teleprompter, so I had to take that off first. So, okay. Uh, let's see, Elkie Marks, 3D Printing Nerd, could you do a load test for the single Z axis because I had problems with this at the build size? Oh, interesting, okay. I mean, it looks like it's a, it's a lead screw, right? I mean. We'll, we'll see if it can hold it. I mean, yeah, I'll print full size on this thing. Oh, I see. You're going to put the camera back on, and then you're going to swap out the lens. Yep. Don't hurt yourself. I'm trying Eric to Eric Rubeck. Here, wait. I got to... I'm going to put this down. Oh, no. <laughs> what dropped? The power. Okay. You're good. Keep going. Am I? Yes. Oh, here, I can. Oh my God, stop. Just. <laughs> See, look. Everything's yep. better now. Okay, sure. Everything's better sure. now. Sure. Hey, everyone. Sean's almost done with the camera. And uh, we'll switch over to it in just a moment. Gamer 260, the moment Joel notices the control panel's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Oliver Knowles, I love your vids without question, the best YouTuber ever. I, uh, I don't agree about the best, but uh, I really like your comment. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Fawad Oasis, oh, I just butchered your name. I'm really, really sorry. You should. Uh, uh, oh, is it, can yeah. we go camera one now? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. It's comical. It's comical. Like it's, yes. um, it's, it's she... like someone photoshopped it bigger. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I love the design of this. Like I love, like it, it does, it, it reminds me of Ultimaker in that it kind of looks like the Apple of 3D printing, right? Like at least they got that going for it right out of the box. It's a, it's a box that right. looks pretty. Yes. Right. Right. 
which I appreciate. I appreciate a big giant 3D printer that looks pretty. Yeah, me too. That's that's not a problem. I mean, uh, I hope it performs well because <laughs> that's the kick. That's the kick. Pretty. Right. But goodness, I need a shorter desk <laughs> or something. <sighs> Moshi Berkowitz, would you recommend the Elegoo Saturn? Um, um, yes. I mean, so far, everything that I've, I've had done with it has been pretty awesome. Robert Salomon. Salomon? Poor UPS guy having to deliver. Yeah, it came on a pallet. Eric Rubeck, did you see the new mom resin printers? Mom resin printers? Uh, any Cubic is coming out with. I don't know what the mom means. Hey, Andrew Gilmore, thanks for becoming a member here. Yes, thank you Appreciate very much. That. Uh, Brandon Sin 112, are we starting a milkshake fund for Sean? Between Project R3D and Loyal Moses, I think I owe Sean at least two milkshakes. <laughs> Uh, Anycubic with the resin machines. I talked to Anycubic. They have three new resin 3D printers. And um, I don't know if it's going to... I'll, I'll just say it. So we might do a mega stream with all three. <laughs> At the same time. We'll look forward to that. That'll be fun. Uh, here's the, this, the quick start guide. Uh, unpacking. You've already found the quick start guide. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Okay, open the plastic bag, firmly grasp the craft pot at the desired lifting points. Oh, look at these are lifting points. Yeah. You, you, you. Don't go that way. There's trouble that way. Oh, it's going to power down, man. Is it? Well, no, it's got, it's got like 90 minutes of battery. Does it? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I've been wrong before. He's talking about that handle. If you can see it. God, this thing won't focus. Jeez. It, I dropped it. That's the camera that dropped, and uh, it yeah. hasn't been the same there we, since. There we go. You can kind of see it there. Phillips Off-Road Underbar 2. Hi, this is my first stream. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Sean? Who? Me? I'm great. I'm great. Man. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so Phillips Off-Road Underscore 2. This is, this is that person's first stream. If everybody could say hi to Phillips Off-Road 2. Uh, I think that would be wonderful. And Project R3D, a new member? New members. Pff, that's a milkshake right there. <laughs> milkshake. Okay, I gotta get the power cord. Well bought. That's one stream that would resonate with oh, me. Oh, that is a that is a that is a print and play level joke right there. That's a that's a look off camera or look, yeah. I don't even <laughs> office style like look at camera. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so in the box, there are some, there's a nozzle kit. It looks like this is uh, the bag you would get in first class for an airline. There's some... Uh, it does, actually. Some filament samples. I've got orange, gray, and a blue. Looks like they're all PLA. That's fun. This is a USB cord. These look like uh, spool holders or hat racks. I've got some stickers. It's raining up. The broken glass. Oh, you're super not. I'm, I'm camera two right now. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. No problem. And I got this, uh, this PLA right here. Nice. And I got some PLA right here. And uh, the big tubes of justice are right here. And uh, oh, hey, look at this. Here's a kit of tools. A kit of tools. And then a tiny little USB stick. Aw. It's so tiny. For such a large. For machine. such a big machine. For such a big machine. Okay, how did you mess up this power stuff? Mess it up? I didn't do anything. How did you drop it? That's what I, I want. I didn't do anything. You did drop it. You didn't mess it up. You did. Nelson drop Marin, it. where I'm watching from my phone on YouTube. All right. I'm not. I'm. I'm. Uh, I should. We should stream from our phones sometime. We we did that for Murph once. Did we? Yeah, we did. People didn't did like it. Michael Castle needs some peanuts. I mean, if you want I mean, some peanuts, go get some peanuts. I don't want wrong. to stop you. So, uh, oh, someone wait. asked how to become a member. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. I, I, I saw that you were, you, were, you were unboxing things. I am, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Gamer 260, the USB I'm giving to Sean. Got it. <laughs> uh, to become a member, I think underneath the video, 
There is a membership or become a member button, I yeah. think. I think. I think it says join. Does it say join? Yeah, I think it says join. Oh, okay. The button says join. And I still, what I do is I record my after the five videos for the YouTube members. Uh, once you become, uh, once you become a, a member of YouTube, you can go to the community page and I believe that's where they list the after the five videos there. I still have to do one for that last video I did. Yes. Sorry about that. Loyal Moses, don't let me forget that. Okay, contents of the box. Oh, installing the filament guide bar. I'm gonna need a stool. Yeah, you are. I'll get it. Do we have a stool? Yeah, there's a step stool. Oh, okay. I often use it as a seat. Like, I don't know, how are we gonna do this? I don't know. You can turn it, and I can use cam two to show the, whatever you're doing. You know what I mean? Okay. Like if you turn it towards me. Okay. Well, I mean, because the build plate goes up to meet the nozzle, it means that all prints are going to be starting up here. Oh, that's fun. Hey, a stool. Just put this thing on the ground. <laughs> Smash. I, I mean, we could put it on the ground right there. <laughs> we should have done that. Yeah. We can't, we can't stop now. Uh, Mad Explorer Gaming, new member. Hey, new member! Thanks, Mad Explorer Thank Gaming. You. Appreciate that. I know I joke that uh, this all goes towards milkshakes, but it also, you know, it helps uh, pay the bills <laughs> and stuff. So, uh, milkshakes are good, but, yeah. Eric Rubik. Hey, the medical bills kind of has to happen. Eric Rubik, I got four hours left till I have to get up for work. You should get some sleep. Yeah, honestly. Yes. I mean, we very much appreciate you watching, but you should get Mosh some Berkowitz, sleep. I really want to donate, but my parents won't let. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet you mean parents won't let you. Won't let you do that? Um, I understand. Yeah. That's okay. I understand. Thank you for watching. Select the desired position for the tube holder. The tube holder? Yeah. The tube holder. This is the, the tube holder. <laughs> and the filament goes through. Okay. This is dangerous. Oh, I see, because you're supposed to... Take their screws at the top, and you're supposed to undo those. Uh, and then, yeah. Okay. Sure. We should I, take a vote. Should we just put this on the floor? Like, legit, we could just clean a spot on the floor. Would that be better? But then I. Rojo Droner, $2. So it is a dual extruder. That's it true. It is. It is. If we do that, I have to move some things. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like the lights. Okay. And well, the camera. <laughs> Oh, God, all of it. Yeah. That sounds terrible. It does. All right, well, let's not do that. It's warm up here. The air is really thin up here. It's really tall. Yeah, now they know for certain that you are wearing pants while streaming. <laughs> Good thing. I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, dude. Otherwise, dude, this dude. would be really awkward. Uh, awkward for you. <laughs> exactly. Are you. Screwing things in there? Yeah, so at the, there's these screws at the top that hold the frame together, and you have to undo those to put in the tube holders. And these tube holders hold the little... That's gone forever. Oh, crap. <laughs> he does that a lot. Can you grab that, Yes, please? I got it. I got it. There you go. Thank you. Uh, these, these hold the, um, the guide tubes for the filament, and uh, I'll just put them on. Nice. Yeah. It reminds me of, um, okay, what, what printer did you send me in Michigan? Oh, oh. the, uh, the Zix. Zixel. Yeah, the Zix, the Zix Plus. Yeah. Yeah, that had guide tubes. That's right. It didn't work well. Boy, I'm really, can, they can't see me, can they? Uh, can they? they? They can see your, kind of, half your face. Okay. I hope it's the good half. It's the bottom half. I mean, it's... I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. I know. We got, I mean, you got it going. Maybe. I love it. Just it, because of the sheer size, this is, uh, this is a more difficult unbox and build than the Prusa Mini. Which, by the way, working great. Working very well. I, I've printed many things on it. 50, 50 things, in fact. Tell them what you're printing. Uh, PS4 power buttons. 50 of them. 
there's a repair shop back home that does stuff. And they, apparently they, you have to, like, it's like a little plastic thing. I'll get one oh, wait, later. Wait, wait, wait. We got a, we got a fiber from Ooh. John Frank. What is your least favorite printer you have ever reviewed? Where are you going? Getting the PS4 button. Oh, okay. Um, oh, let's see. My least favorite you is probably You know what the, that is. <laughs> the, probably the Robo R2. Yeah, the R2, yeah. They're probably the Robo R2. Um, it was, uh, it was bad. It was just bad. That whole experience was bad. And, uh, can't even see it. And then they don't even sell it anymore. Can't even see it. There it is. Yeah. This is the PS4 power button right there. 50 of those. They require, they require it's like seven bucks to buy them online. One. And I could print 50 of them for nothing. That's right. Saving money. Yep. There we go. I guess, I mean, if I'm going to get this out of the box, why not? Yeah, I mean. Why not stream it? Sure. It's just <laughs> not, not the most conducive. I'm trying to, well, I don't know where it's going to go. Man, vertical space. We need to invest in vertical space here. I think so. Well, that bench that has all of the sidewinders on it. Yeah. I think the sidewinders need to go. Ah, yes. And then this can go on that table. That makes sense. Man dropped it. You were watching. So. I, uh, yes. <laughs> Get in the hole. There it is. You watching the chat? Trying to here and there. Okay. I'm also okay. trying to <laughs> film you while doing this now. <laughs> Do we have a taller tripod? We could just. Yeah. Uh, wow. There's. Huh. Yeah. Like there aren't there are nails sticking through right here? Yes, there are. If I Be go careful. any higher, yeah. I might we might have to take a trip trip to the ER. Well that'll end the stream real quick, won't it? Why would we stop streaming? <laughs> <laughs> stream on our phones. Okay. Mount the spools. We're we're almost to the point of being able to print, I think. Uh, how many printers do you have from Eric Rubik? Um, too many to count, I would say. Here? Like here? I mean, okay, so, do you want me to count real quick? If you want, I mean. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll count real quick. Okay, okay. Okay, these are going to be printers at the office. I have to start in the resin fungin. Resin fungin, yes, okay. fungin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ceiling mounted fan Eight, or printer or nine, no, camera. Ceiling mounted printer. I can read. Yes. 10. Yes. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, She's gonna keep 23, going. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Are you counting the ones in boxes? 29. Yes. Okay. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 38, 39. I think I have 39, 39 printers 3D printers here. Just at the office, because that's not the, including the ones at the house. Right, that's just here at the office. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, just finished your Thanos story. This is from Zoe. Okay. Uh, just finished your Thanos story video. Is the RC, giant RC coming back anytime soon? I want to try to make a disc break for it. Oh, boy, that'd be cool. That'd be great. Uh, right now, the OpenRC project is a little bit on hold just because we've had some other stuff. With the uh, uh, with the really big, the $38,000 3D printer in the garage, I did reprint the front wing, and I have the axles from Siemens, and uh, those need to get on. I need to, I need to thread the axles, yeah. and then... And then those will go on. Once the front wing is installed and the, the stainless steel axles are threaded and installed, it will run again. I think I just need a better controller. I think, because it's like a it's like a, a drone controller. And yeah, I need, yeah. You know, I need a, this kind of controller. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, the the controller does kind of make it a bit difficult. What the heck? Is the this? screen is falling off. I dropped it. I know. Why won't it go away? Oh, it's oh, I can't. It, it won't touch. How do I go back? Uh, menu button. Hardware button. 
<gasps> Let's see. To protect during transport, X rail secured to the chassis. Before first use, please remove the metal clips in step two. Um, I can't, oh, I can't. Wait, wait, are they? Are they underneath? Oh, I think they're. Yeah, they're. Oh lord, they're in there. Okay. Um, I have to go in front of the camera. <laughs> oh boy. I can move this, right? Yes. Okay. It's just another random camera we have. It's not random. It's awesome. Okay. Nope. Yep. Okay. So righty tighty lefty loose. Yes. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Okay. So these two brackets hold the X axis in place so that it doesn't uh, shift during transport. Hey look, that's a PlayStation 4 power button. Sure, it's just randomly. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta loosen it. <laughs> All right. Oof. Boy, that is tight. I'm trying, people, I swear. Dr. Lumen, that, why aren't those 36 printers printing right now? That's unlimited Pikachus. That's correct. That would be unlimited Pikachus. <laughs> it would be two full-time jobs getting all of those machines printing all the time. Someone said that's a mini print farm. Yes. It really is. Uh... Okay, remove the screws, and then you just pull it out. That's what it says. Yes, uh, Aaron York, you need to switch to a uh, using, there you go. Jeez, look at that. I'm trying to. Can you, okay, yeah, there we go. Okay. Nice. Look, at, that, is, that is just a bracket to hold it in place during shipping. Yeah, but he says you should. Uh, uh, oh, switch to a coffee table. Yes, thank you. Unlimited mini Joels. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, is there another another one to un, what undo? Yep, one on this side as well. 36 printers means Sean can finally get his six foot tall Megazord printed. That's correct. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Shoot, we could do that with just the, the 3D platform. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Just need a filament sponsor. Yeah, that's right, filament sponsor. Uh, I am working with... That was from Shane, by the way, Shane. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I am working with James up in Canada. We're going to be printing uh, a full-size video game cabinet on the, uh, on the big printer. Yes. Yeah. And we're going to, like, outfit it with buttons and a screen. I love and, it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, 3D printer. This is from Alex Kochirka. Kochirka? Kochirka? Kochirka. Something, Kochirka. something, okay. maybe. I'm looking to get my first uh, printer. What is the best printer I can get for under four hundred dollars? Under four hundred? Under four hundred. I would. I'm. I'm gonna go personally. With me, uh, the the Prusa Mini. Prusa Mini is great. You're gonna wait seven weeks to get it, though. That's true. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Y'all good? Uh. Okay. <sighs> oh. Oh. Just as I. Switch to the camera. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, whose fault is that? It's not mine. Uh, you're right. You're right. Hey, look at though, free screws. And uh, yeah, overkill on the brackets, probably. They are like. This had to ship from uh, Hungary, right? Thick metal, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are. I mean, someone was tack welding those. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> David Randolph, raise his hand as filament sponsor. <laughs> Good, yeah. yeah right. It's all, it's all 285. I talked to him. He could run me a 2.3 kilogram spool of 285 of just pick a color. Nice. 
Yeah. Uh, we need power. Oh. Do we have an extension cord? Uh, yes, we used it earlier for my monitor. It should be right there. What? Never mind. Excuse me. The monitor I had. You grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Nailed it. Just oh, you want to plug it in down there? Uh, where else would we plug it in? Oh, we can plug it in the, in the front. The front, but it's all right. It's no, all right. the front butt. Nope. It's gonna, someone's going to trip. It's uh, on your side. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug it in. Wait, wait, don't turn it on. Well, I'm not going to turn it on. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, I'm I just going to keep gotta, that a little bit. i got to get in front for me to do that. Okay. Uh, Are you going to turn it on? Attached power cord. I got to mount the filament. Um, so, uh, quick show of hands. I've got black PLA. Yeah, black PLA. And I've got white PLA. Which one should go on which nozzle? It is IDEX. There's two of them. White or black on the left nozzle and white or black on the right. Let me know now. So we're doing that before we uh, turn it on? Yeah, you're supposed to. Okay. It's part of the thing. Okay, okay. And these are the spool holders back here? Those are the spool holders back there. They will not hold a five kilogram spool? No. I kind of would want it to if it's <laughs> the build volume is this big. Tech Oz, what printer surprised you the most? That's a really good question. Yeah. Um, the easy answer that's current is the $38,000 3D printer. And it surprised me because it is amazing how much it has in common with an Ender 3. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, what white on right, black on right, white left. Black on left, white on right. White on left. You guys aren't making this easy. Yeah, I feel it's just just pick one, man. Okay. I feel like white on right makes sense because it rhymes. Okay. So you. Okay. So you want their right to be white. Right. Because that's what it would be for us if we were looking at it. Anyway. Yep. yep. Got uh, it. Let's see. Should we? I guess. Just kind of. There we go. The filament is Hertz. Yeah. I've never uh, used that film before. Never hurts of them. Let's see. Um, I knew you were going to say that. Just, <laughs> just. But I don't, I want, oh, okay, you're just going to break it? Yeah. You don't want to cut it? All right. And you put the filament on wrong. You put the filament on wrong. No, I put the filament on right. <laughs> He's right. Damn right. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Protoscope just purchased three CR6 SEs to replace my under three pros for my business. How has the reliability been for you on the CR6? My pre-release CR6 that I got from Creality to base the review on while the Kickstarter was still going performs great. Um, I, I purchased two with my own money from the Kickstarter and... Um, you did? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I've opened up one of them and that was the stream. And uh, I haven't had a lot of success with that yet. I'm still working on it. The, the filament sensor, it, it sends false positives. I don't know why. Yeah, that's uh, weird. But someone was saying that it's loose in the housing, so I have to take it apart. Mosh Berkowitz, $1.99. Are you, you out, out of your, your mind? mind? We have to <laughs> at this point. Okay, so now that we have that, what's the next step? Uh... Turn it on. No, stop. Okay. Apparently, according to Dave over at Printed Solid, it has a fantastic startup screen. Uh, is, is the audio from the XF turned down? Yeah, I don't know. There we go. It's on it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Hopefully, we'll hear it in our mics. Hey, CNC Kitchen, good morning. It's just, I might not be able to see it because it's super glary. Right. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Next, English. 
Oh. Oh. Okay, no no startup sound. Maybe after setup is when the startup sound happens. Sorry, I'm so shaky. Yeah, maybe. Nothing happened, huh? Wait until Joel figures out he has to load the filament into the extruder from the top. Sean, what'd you do? <laughs> I, I pushed too much filament through. He I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Anchorage? I didn't touch Anchorage. I touched, there we go. And we're just going to go back to one. <laughs> Nothing's happening, and I can't see it because of a giant glare anyway. <sighs> Please update the firmware on the printer. <laughs> For real? Is this, is this a PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to skip this step, press skip. Uh, I'm going to skip. Network setup. The, well, how about, do I have to... Jeez. What are you doing? I have to, I have to name the printer. Oh my god! And then after you name it, you go to that name on the network. Oh my god! I'm gonna call it. I mean, it's great, but not for us right now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this 3D printer Bob. He's your uncle. Ethernet, no. Wi-Fi, DHCP is fine. Okay, you can't. <laughs> Wait, Wi-Fi setup. Select the SSID you want to connect to. Wi-Fi is disabled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Wi-Fi is not disabled. Okay, don't. I'm not. Don't I'm let not. him see this. I'm not. <laughs> You aren't? I'm not. We're on okay, camera. Okay, okay. Oh, well, well, they might be able to from well, the front. Well, just... Okay. okay. There you go. You're, okay. you're safe. It's it's randomly on your chest. That's weird. <laughs> That's... Uh... Oh, crap. What is my Wi-Fi password? I wish you could do this with a... I don't need to get on the Wi-Fi, do I? You don't have to. I mean, I know the Wi-Fi password. Do you want me to tell you? Well... <laughs> Send a test email? What? Whoa, no, just... Okay. Make sure you have the following tasks. Filament unloaded from both extruders. You have to turn objects removed. Print surfaces cleaned using alcohol. I don't have any alcohol handy. I mean... Uh, someone's spamming the channel. Who is? Just a plum. Okay, kick him. All right. Hide. I just hit him. Okay. How about that? How do you remove? I don't know how to remove them. Me either. Yeah. Spammers suck. Agreed. I'm just gonna say. Uh, I mean, okay. I got a, I got a little bit of IPA in the resin room. I'll go get that. This IPA is uh, quite the. Man, I can't find 90 plus percent IPA in my hometown at all. Really. No, it's like, you can get hand sanitizer anywhere now. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cleaned with alcohol. Sure was, saw that. Next, offset calibration. Okay, measure the nozzle and the beetle touch sensor distance. Follow the instructions shown at the top of the screen. Uh, okay. That's my fault. That's also my fault, no? The, How did that happen? The power's underneath the bench. Oh. And you kicked it. The cord was loose. Yeah? Yeah. Fixed. Okay. Looks like it's heating up some stuff. Ooh, it's good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bed's raising. And the bed's going up, yeah. yeah. I'm disappointed there was no cool startup sound. I think Dave was lying to us. It must have been. That or it's in the new firmware that we didn't <laughs> install. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Boy, it's making a... Costco-sized IPA lasts a while when you don't have a resin printer. That's true, but I have a resin printer now. 
oh, there's a there's a car outside making noise. I yes. thought the bed was going. No, no, no. Yeah, no, that was a car. I thought I thought the same thing. Okay. I'm not breaking everything, Frank Ford. Just a few things. Just a few. Like the everything. That the lights in the printer. AZ Cowboy One. Pretty sure they've been drinking more than energy drinks tonight. I wit the, the, the vodka's in the fridge. It is. I was gonna get the vodka out. Should I get the vodka out? Hey, look at that. JD Camp C IP on Amazon. David's Pokey Life. What M happened? I don't know what M is. See, RC Maniac thought the. Uh, does the bed look crooked, or am I just? Oh, I'm at a weird angle. I can't tell you that okay, answer. Okay, <laughs> no, bed is bed is fine. It looks straight on camera. Bed is fine. Okay, good. So it's doing a Z Max calibration. Look at this right there and right there. Those are scrapers for the nozzle. For doing oh, cool. dual extrusion prints. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to see this thing printing at all. <laughs> yeah, wait, not at all? <laughs> it's like oh, it's geez. cut off because the camera's below it. We could put the camera taller. We could. We could. Oh, look. Here's the, um, here's the sheet. The quality control checklist. Date. Two zero oh seven oh two. Uh, wait, in Europe, is that? Uh, so twenty is the year. Oh seven is the month. So July second, two thousand twenty. And it looks like there's either blood or food on it. Huh. That's disturbing. I don't know. That's how you get. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. How much does this printer cost? It's expensive. It's like four grand. Uh, so the person that was spamming? Yeah. I got a text from Chris Russell and I got a text from my wife. You need to kick this person. Oh, <laughs> whoops. We should just make them mods. We should. Then they can kick them. Bed edge calibration. I can't, okay. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get on the stool and see if I can't at least see some of that. Don't unplug the printer in the process. Yeah, please don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a very me thing to do. AC Cowboy One, why not both blood and food? <laughs> hey, hey man, it could be. Still can't really see it. That's okay. I'm just so afraid, I'm so afraid. So the bed's heating up to 60 C. Each nozzle left and right is up at 205 C. Michael Fennell, everybody loves a good scraper. Okay. Yes. Sean is also wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> but because I'm Pride mostly- Vines, bed, oh. edge. I'm JD mostly Cam C, though. where is Mrs. 3D Printing Nerd? She is at home. I think she's watching right now. Yeah, I'm sure everybody, must be. Every, everybody say hi to my wife watching at home. What is it doing? David's Pokey Life. Well, at least it didn't catch fire. That's true. It, right now, it's, it's using the BL Touch. Yes, to correct. To do nozzle calibration. At least that's what it says on the screen. Yeah, I can't see it. I'm just going to read what the... Yeah. You know what? If you were back there... Yeah, if I, if I was in front looking yep. down. Yep. yep, yep. There's a big old X-axis in the way. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that's where it should Good. be in the way. Uh, Joe Tanner. Hey, uh, look at Lo uh, Laura Moses. Oh, good angle on that shot. Oh, whoops. Bring out the vodka. All right. I've heard enough. 3D printing and painting. 3D printing nerd. What's the build volume? It's like 425 by 250 by 500. Should I, do I have to look this up? Mr. Mini. Mr. Mini. Oh, I scrolled off the screen. Oh, good. Everyone's saying hi to my wife. Nice. Fantastic. Love you, honey. <laughs> All right. It's doing, uh... oh, you know what? So right now it's tapping the bed against this nozzle and it's doing a Z offset calibration. So it has a BL touch, but I'm wondering if the nozzle is sensitive as well. That's right, now it's doing the XY calibration. So it's, there's a hole in the build plate right here, and if I remember right, that's how it does the calibration. Yep, 
So the nozzle, the nozzle goes into this hole on the build plate, and then it taps it left, right, back, front, and then it knows where it's at. And then it sends this extruder over and the nozzle taps in the hole front, back, left, right, and then it knows where it's at as well. So rather than, I think, having to dial in where each nozzle is relative to each other, I think it's automated, if I remember right. I was talking to uh, CraftBot at Rapid. No, at... Uh... Ah, that was lovely. That was a lovely sound. Bed leveling. Assisted bed calibration. Okay, it's preparing the BL touch. And it is is deployed and it has found it. Okay. There we go. Whoop. Oh, you getting it? Yeah. Sweet. So everything that it's doing right now, it's doing without having loaded filament into the machine. Uh, I find that fascinating. Like the machine has the intelligence to do all of the proper configuration and calibration before even loading the filament. Mike C499, found a local deal for a new inbox Ender 3 Pro for 75. Should I pull the trigger to have it complement my Prusa MK3S? Keep up the great, great work, guys. Well, thank you. A, a new inbox Ender 3 Pro for 75, yes. That's a steal, man. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, look at that. Great shot. You got some great shots, Sean. Yeah, we got some cool shots on the, on that. But now it's just doing the same thing over and over again, so. Well, there's a little, it looks like there's a little calibration sensor or a viewer on the screen here. And every time the BL touch is being activated, it's verifying that, let's see. Okay, it's just going up and down, and it's just verifying that the BL touch is accurate over time, it appears. Interesting. Okay, okay. You can show that. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm yeah. doing. Ah, uh, all right. Alan Klein, could you do a review of the Creality Wi-Fi box? I don't know if I should get one or not. Uh, I will. I will definitely do one once I get it out of the box. Uh, it is for Creality 3D printers. You could also accomplish the same thing by getting a Raspberry Pi and uh, getting the fantastic OptoPrint software from Gina, yes. who's at Foozle on the Twitters. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. Here, uh, uh, Phillips Offroad 2. Hey, I did a story on Giant F1 car while back. Would you like a link to read it? Sure, hit me up on the Twitter. That'd be great. So back here we have uh, the LCD. You can see it's got the CraftBot logo. Does right it? There. And then right above that is the camera. So it does have an integrated camera for monitoring your prints. Oh, turn, I'm sorry, the front screen. <laughs> turn the front adjustment knob to the right. Oh, is it asking to do so? Because it's just doing the same thing over and over again here. I thought, oh, there we go, okay. So you're supposed to get it within this center. Oh. Okay. Press next, okay. So now it's gonna go somewhere else. And so this back knob, I'm going to have to press. Okay. I was busy talking <laughs> yeah, and I didn't just doing know. Stuff. Yeah, someone was saying it's stuck. Uh, uh, L. Moses, $5. $5, thank you, for the short table fund. <laughs> well, Moses, man, I love that dude. And I could probably, you know what? On the big printer, I should design and 3D print a table to see if it could support this large machine. Yes, that's a good idea. Also, maybe we should change the camera angle sometimes to this way so I could stand in front of the table and do stuff. No, oh, yep. Well, before you go I mean, home, I could let's do another the, live stream. I could do the, I could put the R5 over there right now. Would that work? Yeah. Oh, it's not your back. What? It's that way it's just not your back to, you know, to the camera. Wait, adjust, no, no, I was okay, press next, okay, press next. Turn the adjustment knob to the left. 
All right, let me see if we can if we can see what Joel can see. Oh, to the right. Okay. This is just so much glare. It, it, this camera doesn't do very good. Sorry. There we go. At least we figured that out. Yeah. There we go. See, bass R, bass R. There we go. It looks like they're just kind of hanging out over there. Assisted bed calibration. It's making sure that I'm within my limits, and I don't think I am. Oh, apparently I am. He did something. Okay. <sighs> What's it saying? It's going to do a mesh bed level, and it's going to get the level of at 60, 80, and 100 C. I mean, we might as well. Okay. <sighs> We might as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Ooh, the Bartolome. Bartolome? 3D printing or should I switch to resin based printer from Standard Filament One? Is there durable resins or is it all fragile? Uh, a lot of resins are fragile. Uh, if the blue, B L U, blue Soriatech resin is actually not as fragile, not nearly. And uh, we might be doing some testing with that. I think you might see that on the channel soon. Yeah. Yeah. And Morass, that is like a level up sound effect. That's true. It is. It's going to wake up in the morning like the genie. 10,000 years will give you such a creak in the neck. It will. It will. Seriously, this is like Christmas morning with a next gen uh, video game system. I should have got this out of the box and pre configured. AKA my Christmas morning this year. <laughs> Too much glare. Someone said too much glare. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'd have to move all the lights and that would just... Sarai Tech Blue is insane. I am printing a vice with it right now from Joe Gray. That is awesome. We could turn the printer a bit. Yeah? Which way would we do it? We could turn it this way a bit. Yeah? And then what? No, wait, it's just, there's no glare. Oh, is there glare right now? Yeah, so that you, you can stand over here. Where's the glare? Punch at it. Don't Where? worry about it. I think we're done doing a whole lot of stuff on the screen anyway. But I'm just saying, like, we, we could have done that, I suppose. Oh, I see. We could do a lot of things. Yeah. Just imagine if we had space and ceilings taller than seven feet. I know. There's not a lot of room to operate up here in front of the desk, guys. Like, there's a lot of cords and things, and it's poor cable management. That's my hey, fault. Hey, wait. Give a, show them. That's my fault. Show them. Not a lot of room right here. Okay. You got enough room to put a body, maybe? But then you, they could trip over all these cords and things and all that. Yeah. It's not great. It's yeah. Not great. We're working on it. We're working on it. It's better than it used to be. It is actually somehow. <laughs> Andrew Gilmore. I just printed a Hand of the King at 0.05 and it looks great. God, that is, that is fantastic. Nelson Marin, what's your favorite paid 3D model to print? Any of the models that Photos Mint has on his Patreon. Yeah. God, Absolutely they're, they're 100%. Great. So good. Oh, the stuff he releases is just amazing. What do you Practical think? Should... Brenning need a hydroelectric desk. <laughs> yes. Like the way you think. Uh, I need, uh, what, do I, what can I print, Joel, on my, on, my, on my L? What should I print? On your L? Mm hmm. Phenom L? Oh, uh, a helmet. Okay. Right. Or, or a Power Ranger sword, like all the pieces all in one go. Just stack them up on the build plate. That's and fair. So then you just have a build plate that tall, that wide, just full of sword. Sure. I love it. Making a maker. 3D printing nerd is only wearing half pants. Me too. Builders Mark, $5. Short table fund or tacos? Yeah, tacos. Practical it's printing will go to tacos. agree with you there. This, I'm really, I need to apologize. This is taking a while. Can the camera see me, or am I just kind of weird? No, no, no. Yeah, you're out of focus, but you're in the you're in the frame. Okay. I was gonna show something. So you can, I mean, if you want to get behind the, but it's all right. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. While it's doing its thing, you know. Yeah, while it's doing its thing. Uh, I got. Oh, sorry, because it can see me right here, right? Mm -hmm. So these are. A this is a 3D printed container and a fan mail Friday long ago. Someone made for me these PCB tokens. Do you have a? Do you got a, a camera there? And bring it around front. Like right here. Uno momento, por favor. 
So these were PCB tokens, so little printed circuit boards. That's awesome. Yeah, and look at the other side. What? With a, with a hand, too. I don't remember who gave them to me. Oh, no. But I, since I found them, I was going to give them out to people at the next show that what, I went to. Whatever that is. And then, uh, so sometime in 2022... <laughs> No, not Pogs. They are printed circuit. They printed. are Pogs. There, you stop it. They, they even look like that. I had that exact thing growing up. The green container, look at everything. Look at, look at that. Leather. What? Yeah. Hold on, let me. You get to see some cool stuff. There That's awesome. Look at that. You know what? Hey, at Loyal Moses, if you're still there, you're, uh, you got a ranch, right? What about a 3D printing nerd leather belt buckle? Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. I'd rock that. Yeah, same. You guys stop with the pogs, man. They are not... <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> 90s for life. Uh, check the printer. Okay, printer's still going. I actually hated the 90s, but... Clancy, the, the printer's still going. Dude, these are legit, though. What else do I have in there? I have a I have a glue gun. We could print resin slammers. That's yeah. right. Jeez. Out of Soriatech Blue. Uh, there is a there is a uh, a user or a, a content creator called Joel Creates. Mm -hmm. And uh, us Joels on YouTube, we got a. I'm familiar, I'm familiar with. Okay, it. he made because uh, Michael Reeves wanted to make a, a hot glue gun that actually squirted glue. And he didn't do it right. So Joel Creates made one in response. And then he made a V2 and then like a V3. And the V3 actually took a giant glue stick and shot it 30 feet. <laughs> like a stream of it. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. It was really cool. It was really, really cool. Man, I gotta watch that. So anyway, if you go look up Joel Creates. Do it. Hot glue gun. Yeah. V3? Yeah. Okay. Bob Carnes, they were opened on a video. You could look up who sent them. I know, I know, Bob. I but I just don't remember the video. Well, probably a fan mail. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Sawyer, we need to get you a Northwest Pinball Arcade Show shirt newer than 2009. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. yes. My, you know my uh, my friend Jesse at the 2009 or t uh, the Northwest Pinball and Arcade Show, uh, he got the the world record. For Excite Bike. Wow. Because we had one at our office. We had one at our office, and uh, he would practice and practice and practice. And then when the, the show was going on, like he said, I'm gonna go get the record. And Walter Day was there. <laughs> okay, so it finished the mesh bed leveling at 60C on the bed. It's now moving the bed to 80C, and it's gonna do another mesh leveling. So I think what happens. Oh, really? And Dave uh, over at Print and Solid, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like the printer is he called it is has uh, different meshes for different bed temperatures. I love that because it needs to. Yeah, every printer should do that. Oh yeah, Loyal Moses. If you're on Twitter, drop your Twitter handle so we can all follow one another. He is at Loyal Moses on the Twitter. You, I'm at Joel Telling on the Twitter. Yeah, he's at the Sean Connolly on the Twitter. The Sean Connolly. The Sean Connolly. <laughs> Leave Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> uh, w A. Love this channel, and I love you. Agreed. Uh, 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 uh. I want to know. I just uh, Project R three D with a hundred dollars. It's still up there. I know. I love looking That's at amazing. that. That's amazing. If you can, guys, it really helps us out if you like this video, actually. It, the YouTube algorithm. Really? So hitting the like it. button? Yeah, yep. So if you, if you when, when we're live streaming, hitting that like button really helps. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you're watching right now, if you can hear my voice, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button or the thumbs up button or whatever, according to Sean, the YouTube algorithm likes that. It does. David, so David Haynes, were you, uh, or are you planned on making a half-scale Joelbot with a giant printer? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe? Maybe. Yes, maybe. Maybe? <laughs> Aaron York, 3D printing nerd, what was the story of Excite Bike again? Oh, 
Yes, I'm on float plane as well. This printer costs a lot of money, David Ginley. The drawings love it, love you. Uh, my, my friend Jesse, who I worked with at a company called Snap-In Software and Nuance Communications, we had the Excite Bike arcade machine in our lunchroom and he would play it and play it and play it. And he would, he, he's broken the world record before at the office, but it wasn't a sanctioned play and he didn't record it. And so with the Northwest Pinball and Video Game Show coming up and Walter Day being there, he was going to make an official attempt. Here, Sean, put that on that 24 to 70 lens. Yes, good call. Thank you. This one too. Uh, so we went there and he started his world record attempt and Walter Day got to see it and he would have gotten farther, but it was 1145 at night and it was being held at the Seattle Center and they were going to be shutting off power. And so he had to cut his run short, but he still got the world record. That's incredible. Because he was still going. He was still going. Hey, look at lots of thumbs up buttons, lots of likes. That's great. We're up to, we're close to 200 right now. If we get to 350, there's 500 people watching. Okay. 350. What do you, you want to do something? Want to do some fun? Want to sing a song? Do you want to do a dance? You want to do? Okay. If we get to 350 likes. likes? Yep. Okay. If we get to 350 likes on this stream, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I mean, I have to watch. I, I, I wish mean, I had I like will, a, I will print something. I wish I had a cat. I could be like, I will show you our cat or our dog or something, but we don't. Uh, we've got dogs and cats back at the, the home. At the house. Yeah. Camo 329. I love your videos. Thank you, Camo 329. YouTube auto subtitles. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Those are not good. Is it bad? Phil Nolan with thumbs up. Hey, give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. That's thumbs for up. Phil. That's for Phil. Ender 3 Pro or Ender 3 V2? That's a really good question. I've played with the Pro. It seems to work. It's actually, it's actually on the floor right there. It is. <laughs> uh, the Ender 3 V2, I have in a box, which is right over there. I would go take a look at Chuck's channel. Yeah. What? Why is it, what's it doing? Oh, you can show that. Yeah, you, YouTube does late. weird stuff, man. You have to scroll it. Your scroll's reversed. I, you know what? I, I use this to stream. <laughs> 350 likes and Sean will take his hat off. Yep. Really? Oh, yep, I'll do that. Okay, Tech Oz, give away all your printers. I'm working <laughs> on it. Yeah, he, I'm legit working <laughs> like on it. He is, actually. Hey, look at that. Wait, wait, wait oh, scroll back, scroll back. I, uh... Where? Where? Uh, okay, Bob Carnes. Leather and stamps from the June twenty second, oh eighteen video. Okay, wow. so so two thousand eighteen, June twenty second, fan mail Friday. That's where the leather was from. And then wait, loyal Moses at with five bucks at three hundred fifty likes. I will pay for a spool of filament for someone that Joel picks. That's incredible. Jeez. Okay. That's incentive. Wow. Okay, so three hundred fifty likes on this stream. I will pick someone. And then uh, Loyal Moses will pay for a spool of Jesse PLA. Perfect. For, for you. Wow. Wait, wait, go back, go back. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeff Sawyer, YouTube thinks an ad for Kickstarter is a good thing for this stream. <laughs> wow. Okay. They don't watch your stuff, man. Clearly. Ah. Uh... So uh, it's interesting. I've said ever since the CR6 happened, uh, I have said no more Kickstarters. <laughs> really? Yeah, no more Kickstarters. I don't want to do any more Kickstarters. Because, because the, this, this, the machine they sent you was so legitimately, like he wasn't exaggerating in any way, shape or form. His, that was a great machine. I was super impressed with it. Yeah. And now we've got all of these, all of these issues. Reality might recall some of them. Uh, like <laughs> they put out an apology. Like it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. I don't. Uh... <sighs> Nothing like what we got at, when we got. It was the, just. It was review. just sad. And and the problem is a lot of people blamed me. And I mean, I, you can't be on YouTube without some thick skin. Sure. Ah, uh, Mr. Smith with six thumbs down. Oh. He's got to battle that thumbs up ratio. <laughs> we need a hundred more, hundred more likes. Well, no, as you said. 
I mean. Thumbs up. We need another more thumbs up. Oh, is that what we need? Yeah. Okay. Nick Darrow, never doing Kickstarter again. Don't blame you one bit. Nick. See, but, but well, uh, so uh, 3D Fab Printing LLC. I said that too, Joel, until Naomi put the Infinite Z on Kickstarter. Right. So the problem is I've, I've publicly said no more Kickstarters on the channel, but that's the, the Creality CR30, the belt printer that Naomi, Carl, and Bill Steele all work together on, that's going to be a Kickstarter machine. Is it really? Yep, yep. It's going to be a Kickstarter machine. So you and might you might purchase it, but you're not going to like showcase it until you have a review. I don't know. I don't know okay. because a lot of people, a lot of people want to see it and know about it, and uh, I don't know. I, I just uh, let me know this. Okay, so as a viewer of this channel. I've said publicly no more Kickstarter printers on the channel. I've actively turned down Kickstarter printers on the channel. Like uh, the BQBX and the JG Aurora uh, Artist D. Both fantastic machines that have a really good promise. But I've turned them down because they're Kickstarter machines. You'll be able to see them on other channels, no doubt. Right. But I've turned down these machines. I'm not taking them in. The problem is that CR30, that CR30 is, is cool, man. It is... Yeah, I, I can't. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. You know, see, rep courts. CR thirty has to be an exception. Or RC mania, or RC maniac. Don't do it, Tom. Don't show it off until it's available for people. The problem is, the problem is, people are going to ask me for my opinion of this machine. Right when it comes out. And, well, you, and you, gonna, should I back this on Kickstarter? Is what they're going to say. Right. They're, yeah. But but they're also they're, they're, when, when it hits. When it hits uh, the market, huh. they're going to want to know. It's going up to 100C now, so it's going to do the mesh on 100C. Uh, when, it, when it hits the market, they're going to want to know right away if you recommend it, because they're going to want to know if they should buy it right away. Right. Absolutely. So if you to know to know that, you have to have received a unit beforehand. Wait, go back to making a maker. Sorry. You're good. 3D printing nerd. What is they paid for an ad spot? I don't know what that means. What is they? So when we do um, stuff like that, we don't, if it's a review, it's not, it's not paid. Like we don't take money for that. Oh yeah. No, I, I don't take money for reviews at all. And they just come in and yeah. Okay. Kit, you make one exception. You'll eventually make more. See, I, I, right? I mean, I, I think that, uh, but at the same time, um, I don't like it's, I don't, I don't know what to do at this point because I, I hope to be asked. I really want to get my hands on the CR30. It, it seems like it's going to be, I mean, I've said this publicly, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change the game. It's going to change the game. Yeah. I, I want to play with it myself. And so I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we were asked at one point, like, what we think the future is. And, like, my, my thought was the, the, the pleb thought of, like, well, the resin printers are going cheaper now. That's got to be the future. And you were like, no, 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 no. Infinite Z. <laughs> <laughs> Resin's cool. Project R3D. How about Whoa. some of this goes towards giving away more spools at 350 likes? What? What? That's awesome. Wait. I don't... Uh, dang it. <laughs> this is my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, dang I'm it. Sorry. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, review the machine. Just don't talk about it on Kickstarter. Okay, well. Oh, I see. Making Maker, what if they paid for an ad spot? Um, that's all. I, 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 so far, I haven't accepted, I, or I'm not going to accept any more paid spots for Kickstarters. Gotcha. Right? Sure. Right? Um, I, I just... Uh, I mean, as, as of right now, like if they pay for a spot for to highlight the printer or whatever, we can give initial impressions, but that's well, it. Project R3D just gave 100 bucks for more filament spools to be given away, and Loyal Moses is that's sponsoring incredible. one spool from Printed Solid. So uh, with Project R3D, we could, do, uh, we could do four spools. Yeah. So you, anytime someone gives money via the YouTube Super Chat, I get 70% of that. YouTube takes 30%. They sure do. Just right off the top. And so I'm thinking 70% of 100 70 bucks, bucks, 70 bucks. That'll buy, that'll buy four spools. We'll do four. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What is, Jesse's 20 bucks, isn't it? Jesse PLA? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll, 
Close enough, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. RGC20001. No, it's not printing. It is doing a mesh bed leveling. Okay, so between David Randolph at Printed Solid and Loyal Moses, I think four plus one, that's going to be five spools five to spools. give away. And I don't know the best way to do it. <laughs> I don't know the best way to do it. Jim Sellers with $3 and, a, and an animated GIF, it looks like. Cool. Thank you for that. Fist bump. Um, man. Oh, for the fund. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So it looks like we got five spools to give away. I don't know the best way to do this. Do you want to do uh, five individuals or yeah, all yeah, yeah, five, five, individuals. Okay, five individuals? Five individuals. Yeah, me too. I, I think that's best. Yeah, yeah. Nelson, Mar yes, correct. YouTube does rot. They take 30%? That's insane. Yeah, it's a 70-30 split. For doing nothing. Oh, hit, hit that I, show. I, for I, am, yeah. I am, I am. How big is the mesh? Jeff Jones. It's large. Yeah, it's many, it's many, many BL touches. touches. Aaron York, there are YouTube randomizers. Actually, Sean, since you're on the computer, can you, can you see if there is a, as a YouTube a pick from, like player.gg works for Twitch. You know, you can do hmm. giveaways there. Uh, I've got a Nightbot account that people could click on. Can we access the chat post stream? No. Really? Well, I mean, you, you can view it, but the problem is uh, there's... I mean, honestly, like I, I would... <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. So, so the problem is, right? Uh, people's YouTube accounts aren't necessarily their... Uh, Oh, their right. real names sure. or their real accounts How or to get a whatever. Hold of them, sure. So I'm trying to figure out. The chat has a giveaway random pick feature. What? Really? Oh, David's Pokey Life, not for a live stream. Yeah. Mm. Participants? <sighs> so I can look at participants. This is legitimately what I'm going to do. Is if you've left a comment in the chat... I'm going to go through and pick five people. And it's got to be the easiest way. Rick, randomly scroll and pick. It's the, same so. thi it's the same thing as a randomizer. True. And it... How many likes are we at on the, on the video? Are we at 350? Is it time to action it? I don't know. 322. Really? We're getting okay. close. Getting close. Okay. Well, 25 more likes and we'll give away some stuff. Yeah. Uh, I can't see the chat. Can you go back? Stop it. Stop making sense. I'm just, I'm just a boy. <laughs> Oops. Oh, there was a highlighted one. Right. Okay, still need the likes. Yeah. It already is vodka time. I have been drinking yes, some vodka. Yes, you have. Vodka crayon, right? Vodka crayon. Uh, we make me one. <laughs> yes. Okay. I probably should have picked... 326. The, okay, we're getting there. 350 I, gets us the... It gets us the, the giveaway. I probably should have picked the second cup because the first cup has a taste. What if What if we create a Google form really quick? It's all you. <laughs> Never created a Google form in my life. Okay. Because uh, what, if, what if we did a Google form... That took that, that authenticated via your Google account, which is what you're in with 353. Boom. Okay, 355. Well, shoot, there it is. Okay, what if we had a Google form? I'll create that really quick, and then it would take your name and authenticate you via your Google account, which you use to sign up into into YouTube. So that way, it would be one entry per person, and then that would put you. It would put your email into a spreadsheet, and then I could randomly pick from the column of of emails. That's true, because we need the email address. Yeah, we're going to need the email address. Yeah. Good call. I don't know. Let me... Okay. Well, it's... It's probably pretty close. I don't think it's going to go over 100. Do you think it's going to go over 100? No, no. It does. 60, 80, and 100. Okay. Your drink's made. Oh, thank you. BT Dubs. 
Okay, still go. Well, I don't know how to create a Google form really quick. I don't have that sort of. Well, I can grab my laptop, see what happens. Okay, I'm grabbing my laptop. He sure is. And I will see what I can do. Five dollars from five from Jasper your content, and I was extremely happy to be able to sub to you on Float Plane. Thanks nice. for the five dollars, Jasper. You. And Loyal Moses, fifty dollars free filament time. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the printer finished. So. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, David. Us. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars from Jordan Kapler. Kapler. If you're just giving me filament, all willy nilly. Can we, wait. For, whoa, 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 whoa. Stuff is scrolling. Uh, I'll take a spool. Oh, oh. Only. What? I'm only joking. Oh. I love oh. using my Prusa, my Jesse PLA. So please get this towards another uh, another spool for someone. If bartending was still a thing, I'd. I just pour you both one. <laughs> I really dig seeing com uh, comparison to some of these large format printers once you've put them through a few prints. Cheers. So that's from Kevin Rayo. $20. $20. Thank you, Kevin Rayo. Wow. Oh, wow. The, the, the chat's oh. coming fast and hard now. Okay. I'm working on it. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting this to happen, so... Uh, <laughs> AZ Cowboy One, add this to the bundle for filament, fifty dollars. <laughs> My idea is taking over the stream. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now I am sorry. I wasn't before. Okay, so Chris Russell sent me a link for a random YouTube comment picker. Nice. But it only works on videos, not streams. Oh. Thanks though, Chris. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. So a Google form. Well, the printer. Let's get the printer printing. Okay, let's get the printer printing. Dave Randolph sent me a uh, thing on Facebook. 350 likes and I'll give, a, I'll give away five spools to whoever you pick. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. Okay, will you text David and tell him to keep track? Yeah, I will. The filament monitoring system. They have an extrude menu. Ooh. Okay, it's loading that filament. Oh, and it's loading that filament. Oh, okay, loading. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, it's okay. I mean, they should be able to see it. It's going to be filament. David said he's going to keep track, or he's going to, he might he, he might make the Google Doc sheet. Okay. Okay, I got some filament coming out there. Sweet. Where? Where? Which one? The this black one, locked one. Yep. I can't see black. I'm up, I'll be able to see white when it goes. Uh, white's over here. There I it goes. I know. Oh God! Well, I lied. Okay. Don't cool. Spill well, the cup. Yeah, I can't. There goes the power. Make sure the filament is emerged from the nozzle and press next. Okay. Real question is, oh. is, is there a print on the SD card, which is over here? Hey, you have, it, USB. USB. It hasn't lost it. That's good. Okay, so now it's waiting for a sensor calibration. Okay. The phone's blowing up. Yeah. Calibration Ooh. finished. Okay. Cool. Hey, we're all done. Start printing cool things. <gasps> we're here. David says, uh, I'm standing by ready to go. What do you need for the Google Doc? What fields? I need them to authenticate with their YouTube account. And I need a way to contact them to win their prize. Oh, USB, right up, right up here. Maybe. Yep. Nice. Okay. Print. Pen drive. No? Super crazy wacko. Uh, getting your first 3D printer. Do you have any recommendations? You're getting it tomorrow. Well, that's, that's, this, that tomorrow's wow, a happy tomorrow's day. Tomorrow's great. Have any recommendations for a beginner? Uh, I mean, do you want to tinker or do you want to just get out of the box and go? Tinker, Ender 3, get out of the box and go. Uh, Prusa Mini. 
which you will have to wait for. Yeah. There's no... Oh, Any of the Ender 3 variants. The Pro, the V2. There's nothing on the oh, USB stick. Do we have to slice something? Maybe. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be something on the USB stick. Okay. Oh, what countries are the ra is the raffle good for? I don't know. I hope globally, but that, I that, mean, that 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 that's that's up to Dave. At uh, <laughs> if he wants to ship um, globally or not. Dave doesn't ship globally. Oh, he doesn't. No. Oh. Okay. So um, there are no test models on the pen drive. Is what they call it, the pen drive. Uh, Dave says uh, he's got his five, R3D4, and three others in chat. Okay. Okay. And then get name, address, email, what color and diameter they want. So we'll get that, we'll get that, the color and diameter post. Yeah. But we need the emails. That's the most important. Yep, yep. Who are you telling that to? Um, anyone who's listening, <laughs> specifically David. Okay. Hopefully he's still watching while making the doc. Thank you, God, he's doing that. Uh, I'm going to have to... Slice a model. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing on that drive. Watching this go from a simple giveaway to a full-blown process has been fun. Sorry, not sorry. Project R three D twenty dollars. <laughs> I hate love you guys. Oh God. What? I bumped it. What'd you bump? The robot. The robot. You the robot. <laughs> the robot. Jeez. Sorry, I'm on drink three. Where have you been? Uh, Running a stream? I've, I've been <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing to print. Yeah. Print a Benchy. I should print a Benchy just because. That should I be mean, the first thing I mean, we do. Just why right? not? Why not? Yeah. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, okay. It, so the, the thumb drive has three files the. Um, New firmware? The user manual in two languages and. <laughs> And Craftware, their slicer. Uh, oh, well, at least they gave you yeah. the slicer. Yep, yep, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run an executable from a thumb drive from a foreign country <laughs> on my laptop. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, let's see. I'm installing the slicer. And it's called Craftware. Craftware. That's interesting. Hopefully it's just set up to just know everything it needs to know about this. Hey, wait, someone said Darksaber. Dominic Tesla, Darksaber. I love that. I love the Darksaber. Hey, and that uh, Mandalorian comes out October. October, near something, Halloween. Something. Near Halloween. Uh, if you're in the US, which isn't, a, that's not an international holiday, so. <laughs> near the end of October. Nick Darrow, I hate Benchies. I don't hate Benchies. I know their purpose, and Daniel Noray, the one who designed the Benchy, Space. He's a super dude. I love benchies. I just don't love printing benchies all the time. That's because you just have so many. Print a space benchy. Uh, Alan Klein, we missed a donation. Where did we miss oh, a donation? Uh, you can click the. Uh, you can click them up above. Twenty bucks, maybe. This one. Twenty from. Oh, Builders Mark. Joel, it's funny to watch your reactions to filament fun. So here's another. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And Thank you for pointing out that we missed a donation. That's that's very helpful. Uh, the Blue Falcon from F Zero. I yes, Zoe, agreed. What's uh, the what? The Blue Falcon from F Zero. You know what F Zero is? It's a it's an, a Nintendo racing game. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Someone said take the hat off, Sean. Oh, you're right. Boy, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Amazing. Just you're wonderful. right. Uh, oh, look at that! It comes with a test model in Craftware. Nice. Okay, that's good. Why wouldn't you just put it on the USB stick? I don't... I don't know. Okay. Um... No, a Space Benchy, Jim. Jim Neal. Do he, he doesn't know Space Benchy yet. He does. We right. just recorded we that just today! Know. That's right. <laughs> um... 
Dominic Versetto, I haven't had a drink in 13 years. You guys are bad for my recovery. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't continue to drink. I don't, uh, I don't drink that much. I don't either. I, literally, the last time I drank, I think, was on a stream with Joel. So, so there's an option for a camera. And there's a little piece of wire. I, I don't know if I... Uh, let's see. Nozzle kit. Nozzle kit. Okay, okay. So, what about the, in the the bag? No, no camera in there. What's David saying? I don't know. Let me look. Check your boxes. Okay, I have to check my email. Apparently, it's going to have a, a it. Google form. The invitation to edit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm. I have to slice stuff too. Yes. You do. Do you think? <laughs> Uh, hello, he says, procedures. Wait, context, so first and last, e e no, 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 we need to, uh, there's a, there's a way to add. Uh, so, so what's the next giveaway for 450 likes? Keep, stop, just no, stop. No. <laughs> So required, and then... Face shields slash ear savers are the new benchies, Nick Darrow. <laughs> I would agree with that. Let's see if I can. Collect. The spaceship benchie, you guys will have to watch. Soon. 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 Okay, okay, save. There we go. Okay, so we don't need that. Email address must be valid first. And I did show day. the camera already. Thank you, Larry. YouTube. Uh, this would be YouTube names. Oh. Dear last watching this as my purser whirs away behind me. That is amazing. So, uh, we, <laughs> Nick Darrow, we do need a live stream stuff. crew. You know, Sid was great on the stream the other night. I've heard that from a lot of people. You know, uh, so it could be that Sid is just the live stream partner and then I'm the crew at that point. Yeah. Okay, so I've changed the email address, first and last name, your YouTube YouTube name, so we know who you are, uh, filament color and size, and then comments. Okay, hopefully David is watching. What do you mean? Oh, did you already update it? Yeah, I edited the form. Oh, perfect. I edited the form, David. We're getting there. <laughs> 350 likes, 450 likes, and Sean takes off his jacket. You don't know what this happens. This isn't, we're not. You don't know at a thousand. Of, you know what? This I'll do it, man. I, I'll do I'm it. sure you will. Wait, that's what my mic's clipped to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change print quality to medium. Nozzle size for build play. Oh, it's captain tape. It's not PI, it's captain tape. Oh, really? Yeah. 100%. Oh, it, it's doing, oh, I see what it does. Oh, okay, okay. Um, time, 40 minutes, sure. Okay. There you go. Save uh, it to the pen drive. Kept on tape, right there. Crap bot. Okay. Yeah, that's my, the draw, uh, the drawns, the drawns, doctor? That's my phone that's ringing, it's, um, David's blowing us up. Sean is the comic relief. Am I? Are you plucky? Do you just laugh at me? That's fine, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Pen drive. <gasps> G code. Nice. Sean is not hammered. Thank you very much. Look at the Craftbot logo. Change to green. Isn't that really cool? I think it goes to red when it's hot, right? I, I, yes. I really appreciate the... Um, just, just that little touch, right? Like, it, it's just nice. Yeah. It's just nice. So everything, uh, it's preheating both nozzles because, but it's not a dual color print. <laughs> That's an interesting comment, Nelson. Wow. <laughs> Craftbot and Maker Gear are the remaining companies still preferring cap yep. on tape. Yep. Yeah, that's correct. I had a Maker Gear M3, yeah. and when I was printing some face shield parts, it uh, the BL Touch failed, and it just dragged the nozzle around the bed, scraping all the Capton tape off. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So then, okay, it's starting the print, which means that uh, I'm going to have a Google Sheet to share. Not Janet. The Plucky Comic Relief. The P Kami? Wow. The Plucky Comic Relief. Uh, is that Galaxy Quest reference? It is now. Plucky Comic Relief? Yeah. No. No, and this, uh, what's. This is the... Um, oh, Ian. Ian Isaac PM says, The cat's on tape on Minecraft but always works well for me. Really? Okay. Good. Stream filament. Filament. <laughs> Jeff Sawyer, I appreciate your comment, Joel sir. Is what is the over-under on Joel breaking the glass on the first print? <laughs> Oil, wait, what? Holy crap. Oil Moses, 250. I legitimately didn't mean to make all of this work for you, so in order to make the stream profitable for you guys, Joel and Sean, you can split 70% of this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Legit. Dude. I would give you a hug if you yep. were in the room. Yep. That's amazing. Just wow. <sighs> okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh wow jeez I, I really want to go he's in Washington and at some point I want to go to his ranch and I just I, I want to take a tour yes he sounds like a cool dude um so JD Smith what's up John Joel and Sean from uh, Eastern North Carolina uh hello uh, my dad lives in North Carolina. That's and it's, right. It's, it's a great state. It's a great state. He's a great guy. <laughs> He's a cowboy. I got $20 on him breaking the glass bed. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. All of these are going to be required first and last. Yep. 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 Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, boy. What? That don't look great. What's, ha what's happening? What? It's printing. Well, you said it didn't look great. It doesn't. It looks fine. Oh. I, I saw what's back here behind it, and gosh, this is difficult to focus on it with the captain tape. And it's like reflective. You're, you're difficult to focus on. I am. I am. All right, yeah. What did you print? Oh my God. How much did you put in there? <laughs> Enough to make you have a good time. Don't make Sean make drinks. But it's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, okay, David made a. Uh, I can't. I'll have to get in the front. Oh, no, never mind. What did you make? What did you print? What? What did, what did they have you print? It, it's, uh, here, it's this. All right. <laughs> sure. I don't know. It's a, uh, well, here. 40 minutes, you said? It's said I, I can show. I can show. Right oh, here. No, see, look at that. I'm oh. just. Well, they can't really see that. Okay, here, you show it to them. There you go. There we go. That's it's, what it it's is. It's supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, can I see that? Welcome or what? So uh, I'm readying the link for the Google Sheet for everybody to fill out. There you go. And then from that sheet at some point, maybe when the print finishes, we cap the entries and that's when we announce the winners. Yes, I like that. Are you oh, wait, the, you hey, we missed one. Someone said we missed one. We missed one what? Holy crap. AZ Cowboy won a hundred bucks. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. It is a party now, sirs. Cheers to you. That is, uh... Wow. All right, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Come on. Sean. What, what do we miss? Send. You can go to bed after you enter. Yes. Oh, we're not going to make him uh, must be present to win? No. <laughs> Jim Sellers, $3. I think that's what we missed. Oh. Well, Jim? We, I thought we saw Jim's $3, right? Didn't we? Oh, did, did we, we not? Did, okay. was, I, was I too drunk to taste this chicken? What? <laughs> what? Talladega Nights, man. Come on. I, I'm not seeing anything else that we missed. Okay. I am. <laughs> oh, RC Maniac. I see you. 400 likes, 50 more, and the shirt comes off. Jeez. No, the jacket. The jacket. Jesus. The jacket. Wait, Gene Master. 
Good day from sunny Brisbane, Queensland, down under. Hurry up, Joel, and come visit my beautiful side of the marble. I would we love to go to Australia. Are not allowed to right now. No, but no, we would we're not. love to come to Australia. Okay. Um, link to enter for filament giveaway. Bam. There it is. Just like that. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Did you put it in the chat? I I, I put it in the chat. There it is. There it is. I see it now. Okay. That link that's in the chat, use that. I believe I did it correctly. Yeah. So we should... You'll need your... Um... Whoa, it's it's wiggling this thing, man. It's going. Uh, you will need a valid email address that is required. First and last name, the YouTube name that we know for you of uh, from, know of you from, know from you of. Sure. Know from you of. Uh, filament color and size and any comments you want to leave. Because why not? Why not? Why not? At this point? Why not? Um, let me check on that W. I'm tall. I the W tell. is printed, yes. Okay. I literally... How much for a seductive removal of the jacket? That would take a new YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This any the word seductive isn't usually used on this channel unless we're talking about Jesse PLA. Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, I've got 28 people who've entered so far. I'm not I'm not a monkey. I will not dance. 33. 38 people. I'm going to post it again in the chat, just yeah, in case. Yeah, I was going to say, we should post it a few times throughout this stream. Here is the link again. Bam. El Moses, yes, you can enter the giveaway. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone in the chat is, is eligible to be entered, except for your wife. She doesn't need any filament. <laughs> That's correct. She doesn't need any more filament. Uh, yeah, so once this, so here we go. Once this is done printing, we will we will draw the names from the chat. Yeah. Once it's done printing, so we have roughly thirty five minutes. Yeah. Uh, we're at, we're at eighty seven entries. We're doing good. It's, it's great. It's yeah, great. we're doing good. Mister uh, Stuff says hello. He does say hello. Hello, Mister Stuff. Uh, Jim, I do not have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Can't you do an OnlyFans like uh, doing the dishes or just you know anytime I? You know, you can, yeah, an OnlyFans can be for literally anything you want it to be, but I mean we all know what it's right. primarily used for. Aaron York, three D printing nerd. What type of filament? PLA or something else? Jesse, um, Jesse PLA. Oh, for the giveaway. Yeah. The giveaway is Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. Yeah. On this machine, it's PLA from hers. H E R Z, hers. Which we've never heard of before. AZ Cowboy 1, Joel isn't the only one in the house that likes to print stuff. You're right, but I mean, she has access to 39 printers here and all the filament in there and all the rest <laughs> around. And the well, Sydney, Sydney was like, hey, I could print a bunch of Pikachus on this one when we were putting together because she did the, the all the, the parade of Pikachus on the Prusa machine. Yeah. In, in polycarbonate. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, absolutely she can. We're up to 150 entries. Beautiful. Not bad. It's beautiful. And and producer David is keeping track of how many we need to give away. Perfect. Yep. Also, I assume I'll, it's like 10. Also, David Randolph too, because he, he, is he? yeah. Well, he messaged me out on Facebook saying, "Hey, this is how much we are at so far." What's Facebook? <laughs> Facebook Messenger. Andrew Gilmore, in all caps, only one entry. One entry per, per, per person. I think that's fair. That's, I, I, I mean... I know we have 10 to give away or something, but like, yeah. but that yeah, way yeah, 10 yeah. people can get it, you know? Hey, look at that. Brian Vines. I have a spool of hers metallic blue pet G loaded up on an Ender 3, and it's pretty stuff. Uh, I have a video coming out for that uh, features extruder filament. I did a cool thing with the palette, and I used extruder filament oh, and halo filament. Right. I still have to film that. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I'll tell uh, I didn't film that. I was, I was kind of saddened with the extruder filament because it wasn't printing well for me. And uh, the extruder guys gave me the filament at Formnext in Germany and I carded it all the way back here and they thought maybe it took on moisture or whatever and I was really sad. So I put it on 
my Prusa Mini, one of the ones from the stream. I took it home and I printed the Benji and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Gorgeous. He showed me. Hey, Denton. Uh, new member. Wadsager. Wadsager? Wadsager? I don't know. Uh, new member. Don't Thank ever you so don't, much. Don't ever ask me to pronounce names. We are at Andrew Gilmore. Only one entry, question mark. Yes. Ian Isaac. Hers, I think, is a Hungarian brand. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. We are at 187 entries. Uh, Sean, what happened? What? What? Ah, the chat. The chat has gone away. Not enough memory to open this page. It's a... It's a, uh, is there Chrome, a, it's a Chrome bug. What's, what's the, um, the reload button? How do I reload? F5? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ty Porter, 3D printing nerd, can I change my color if I win? Yes. The, the sure. idea is... We're going to email you. You'll get emailed. Yeah, because we've we got to get your address. Uh, you'll be able to change it. I'm yep. not worried. Yeah, 100%. I'm not worried. Andrew Gilmore, 2AU. Yes, we will figure that out. I don't want to limit the filament giveaway to US only. 10 spools, I'm assuming 10 spools. 10 spools of Jesse PLA to winners wherever they are in the world. We'll make it happen. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, Joel, it would be easier if you could pin your comment. Can I? You should be able to pin your comment. David Nolson, 4 dollars are you out, out of, of your, your mind? mind? Right there it is. Man, my chat is delayed because that didn't pop until uh, just now. How to enter. Uh, bam. We should just cap it at 10. <laughs> we should just cap it. I can't. Uh, no more. I can't, no more. Pin, I can't pin the comment. How do you pin a comment? I don't know. I know you can do it post, like in a video. But I don't know if you can do it in chat. I'm not able to. I'm sorry, in, in live stream. Oh, really? I am drunk, apparently. <laughs> Here, let me go to... Uh, let me go to the control room. Maybe that's what I need to do. How's it looking up? I mean, it's going. Uh, I, you, know, you want me to show? I will. Uh, the the K's uh, the KSB dude. Do we pick any color? Yes. Yes. Mr. Smith, who is Jesse? Jesse is Dave Randolph from Printed Solids. Dog. Dog. Yes. Oh um, wait, I can't pin it because I, oh here. There we go. There we go. Oh it's again. oh it's printing it on both nozzles. Would you look at that? Well, I knew that. I didn't know that. I, I wasn't paying attention. I love it. I love it. This is awesome. I love this machine already. Here's in the back. Oh, I won't <laughs> Brian Vines. What about shipping to Moonbase? Moonbase Alpha. Yes? No. Sure. We'll figure it out. I can't pin How do you pin a uh, YouTube Dude, I, I don't know if you pin can. comment stream? You should be able to. How to pin a comment on a stream? You cannot pin comment on live. Evan Vander Stop. 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 Step. St I don't know. Uh, someone. He has four, four things in a row. Uh, Nevin Line, new member. New member. Thank you, Nevin Thank Line. Thank you, Nevin. I don't know if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, I'm sorry if I did. Found the color I want. Oh. Tree green. That does sound like a great color. Shipping to Mars. Uh, when they eventually establish a colony? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Ship it to I ISS. To... We were working on a thing, but we did, it didn't didn't end up happening. We were working on a thing about getting uh, some high five blue on the ISS. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was. It might have happened. Yeah. All, what? What? It, it might have happened, but it didn't. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, excuse yeah. me. You tell me these Paul things. Paul Cliff, 6 a.m. Joel, what's going on? Oh, nothing. We're just hanging out. I think you have to do it from the live stream control room. There is a way to pin comments. Okay. I will try. So if you... Well, if you, I'm, I'm keep, trying keep, to. Okay, okay. If you, if you post it, and then maybe the same way that you like hide people, like the three dots or whatever on the side, maybe you can click those? It is the three dots, yes. Yeah. That's enough I, don't have, I don't have the ability to pin. That's enough out of the vodka right now. Hi, is Joy. it? I love, your, <laughs> I love your vids and I have a CR10 
I just ran out of filament and I would love to get a spool of filament. Well, that's what we're working on. P.S. I know I'm not going to get it. I don't know why I try. Well, well, at least you're trying, Oliver, and uh, we hope that you are randomly picked. I'm just trying to figure out how to pin a comment. It's not going well. Why don't you hook a, up the camera on the printer? Well, uh, so we unboxed it on the stream, so we couldn't really hook it up before the stream. And now I could technically get a GoPro and hook it up there if you want me to. I mean, you could. I, was, yeah. I would have to tape it, you know, but I mean, yeah. I, I could do that. Is there supposed to be a camera on the machine? There is one um, behind the LCD up here in the front. Oh, there is? Yeah, there is the camera. Oh, I got a weird connector right here. So can we like connect that camera to an HDMI? No. Oh, well, I can see if I can grab, get a, a makeshift GoPro going. Don't leave me. I'm not, you can still hear me. I'm still mic'd. <laughs> <sighs> Print the comment out and pin it. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea. Uh, we are at 234 entries. 234. Beautiful. Not you Janet, guys... is there a Prusa Mini review in the cards? Um, yes. Maybe? Yes. I mean, I'm going to print some stuff with it, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Right now, I mean, uh, we've just, already... just, uh, at first, it's a joy to use. Yeah, I really want to buy one. I mean, yeah. I can't seem to pin a comment. I, I don't know why. I'm I really sorry. I haven't used this GoPro yet, so... Is it is it really the time to... <laughs> to just try? I mean... Nope, <sighs> battery's dead. Sorry. Is it at 0%? Is it at 0%? Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, 236 entries. Beautiful. You guys are awesome. Legit, just awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Loyal Moses, 230, 236, 236. Put the link at the top of the video description. Okay, I mean, I could do that. That seems like it would work, right? Yes. Okay. 10. Spool. I can't spool, just put this XF uh, up here. I'm, like Jesse this this camera here, I can't just like just I can't just put it up here because the shaking it could fall. Not that it hasn't already fallen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, partially also my fault. I, I dropped Matt them, Darren, I dropped fifteen dollars. You both have to quote Fozzie Bear somehow online. <laughs> waka waka waka. He <laughs> took mine. I don't even what. Jeez, man. It is now at the top of the video description. Perfect. Uh, you cannot stream from the integrated camera that I know of. Yeah, not that we have because seen. Because we didn't add it to the network. Right, so we did not do that. Uh, yeah. Why are you scrolling? I'm looking at the ones that you're tagged in, man. There's oh. a link at the top of the video. Oh, you already did that. Uh, someone, uh, Joe Gray is talking about uh, your Discord, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bob Carnes, five dollars. Uh, Circuit coins. Oh, uh, June first, twenty eighteen. Fan mail video. Ten minutes in, opened on my Bob, patio table. Bob, thank you so much for looking that up. That's amazing. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. That is fantastic. Uh, Nick Darrow, Sean, Joel, do you guys play D and D? I haven't. I haven't. I, I don't currently play. Uh, I have played uh, many a campaigns in D&D. I'm not currently playing any D&D. I want to, um, there's a, so there's a D&D &D, uh, uh, show that I watch. It's about Power Rangers, of course, that I'm trying to then, um, they don't have like the, uh, the rules or anything online that you can go grab, but uh, I've been watching the show, paying attention, and I'm trying to make my own so that I can DM my own campaign. Really? Yep. Wow. Because I am a nerd. 247 entries. 247. That's a great, that's great, man. 248. And obviously, I mean, I know I'm having people authenticate with their email address, and the only 
The only reason this email address will be used is for this giveaway. I'm not going to use it for anything else. Promise. Yeah, we're not signing up for anything. <laughs> Promise. Uh, 3D Printing Art, do you use Octoprint personally? And if so, what is your favorite plugin? Ah, hey, Jim. I do use Octoprint. Um, let's see. My favorite plugin for Octoprint. The only plugins I've used for Octoprint are for the Mosaic palette and for uh, Octolapse. Yeah. Uh, for the longest time, I was like, Octolapse wasn't working because I was looking at the MPEG that Octoprint was doing with the five second interval. Yeah. But Octolapse actually creates an MP4. An MP, yeah, it's, a, it's own movie. Yep. Yeah. 248 people have entered the contest. <laughs> Great. Oh, now it's making the little robots. Oh, is it? Let me see if I can get that on build. Or I mean, whatever they are. I feel like I'm going to enjoy this printer once it's lower. <laughs> I agree with you. So here we go. Digi Chaos. Sean, There's you sticking around Washington, thought you were moving. Um, so I'm here um, as long as there's, well, I, every once in a while, I'll, I'll be out here, basically. That, that's, that's the gist of it. So um, I don't have anything like that's like tying me to Michigan right now that I need to like be in town for. So as long as that is the case, I can come out here, you know, once a month or so and help Joel out. 254 entries. Uh, where'd it go? Shoot. Is it uh, right there? There we go. Um, $2 from Gene Master 74 Have you messed around with Creality Wi-Fi yet? That little box. No, I haven't. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Uh, Dominic Tesla, any advice for Airwolf 3D printers? Boy, I don't. Maybe mm. get a new one? <laughs> mm. I thought Airwolf went out of business. Yeah, I don't. I think you're right. I thought. Didn't they? <sighs> Shoot, now I don't remember. Dave, it's Pokey Life. It's 1.30 a.m. We'll sleep now. I wish you the best of luck, sir. Get some sleep in. Agreed. Sleep is important. I'll be sleeping very well tonight. Builders Mark, you do have a short table fund. I know, but what if I designed and printed a short table to put this on? I could do that, right? I would love that. We should do that. Tech Rich for you, doesn't the craft bot have its own camera? I mean, let's just, can I access it via the? You can try. Stop yawning. Man, it is 10.30 PM here. I'm old. Uh, ah, so what you're printing is the craft unique bot. You are printing, you are literally printing the craft bot. Makes sense. So it looks like uh, the camera, you can't view it from here, but you can set it and it's recording a time lapse. Oh, random, okay, great. Um, so can the printer be added to the network while it is printing? Uh, my guess is no. That was a question from someone in the chat. I'm sorry, I didn't My see your name. My guess is no. Speed, temp, light, FMS, and camera. Uh, that is probably a no. You can, oh, you can up the screen brightness. Have you seen the stuff 3D printing world? What? What? 3D printing oh. world, I don't know that. Brandon Eaton, I don't know what that, what that is. Sean is not crashing. Sean's crashing. Rep cord. He's going uh, party to zero. No, we're still party mode, baby. 259, 259 entries. Great. We need four more likes before Sean crashes. <laughs> yeah. No, Sean's not crashing. Oh, 3D Printing World has done. What 3D Printing World has done. I'm not familiar with 3D Printing World. The black filament seems to be printing better than the white filament. I'm, I'm seeing some curling. Really? Yeah. A little bit. It's like, uh, it's like stuff hasn't uh, cooled down all the way maybe. Mm, let me see if I can see it. It's 
going to be on the white filament on the side that you can see. With the kajigger? <laughs> yes, with that. Ooh. Maybe three drinks in, Sean, not a great idea on stool. Just. If Sean crashes, someone just hit F5. <laughs> uh, so which, what, what, what letter? No, on the. the oh, on the bot. I can't see the bot. I can't see the bot. Oh, you can't see the bot? No, no, no. Okay. It's just. Uh... It's under a big giant printer. Can you, can I have camera reach me? Mm, no. The, the HDMI cord's not long enough. Peek through there. Mm. At the black one, and you might not see it. Or the white one. Oh, you're right. Uh, Gamer260, I hope me using a different email than YouTube won't screw up my entry. It will, it will not. not. It will not. Um, 262 entries, this is sweet. The idea is I just, I'm using the required email just because I have to authenticate against something. This way, you're not gonna enter there's a good chance you're not entering more than once. Good call on the little handle thing, Joel. Can you see it? Yeah, well, like really well. Yeah, it's it's kind of wiggly in the back. Can you see? Can you see on the screen over here? Yeah. On the monitor. It's just kind of it's it's soft in the back. Yeah, I see. I see it because like it's like coming up. Yeah. Weird. Huh. Ooh, well, anyway. I actually need to zoom out before I change hands. There we go. RC Maniac, Sean, we've exceeded 455 likes. Jack it off. I don't think that's appropriate. Where are you <laughs> going to put the mic? I don't know. Right there. D, D. Millen, do you think this machine would benefit from front doors? Sorry. That's not a drunk. You should move the robot before the uh, robot falls. Sure. Put the fragile thing on the floor. <laughs> I'm not gonna step on it. Permanently patriotic, how do I enter? Well, well shoot, there's a, a link in the description. That should get you entered. I will also say, here is how to enter. <laughs> and I will do that. Uh, vis uh, visual Sha Sharma? Shaw wants to move to study. Good to see him, but what about his plan? I am still studying. I'm going to school for poli sci and um, uh, public administration. And I'm going to run for local office when I get back. Good for you. When I finish. <laughs> 500 likes and the jacket back on to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> or to protect your eyes. Keep your eyes warm. Whatever that means. We're at 38%. Nice. Ah, uh, Nick. Oh, Nick. Wow, the, the, the black filament is looking better. The white filament looks kind of bad. <laughs> like the letters look okay, but the little, the, the bot, the, the craft the bot, bot. The bot the, itself the looks bot. bad, right? It, yeah, no, I, I would agree good. with that. Yeah, the welcome looks fine. So I wonder if it's just a, a level issue or what? Oh, you know what? Uh, so Nick Champ. Auxiliary Genius or uh, Ender V2, Ender 3 V2? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played with the V2. Yes, that's true. But you, 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 you like the Genius quite a bit. Hey, I want to I wanna show something. Ooh, be careful with that. I, here, here, here. Show, okay, show this. Uh, that's not good, is it? <sighs> okay, hold the phone. <laughs> Filament jam detected, no intervention required. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, it's like singing to me. Okay. Uh, FMS of the right head is clogged. Please check filament roll and the right extruder. So the white? Okay. Um, So, uh, I get an email warning. Great. Uh, it looks fine. It looks fine, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think so. But I mean, I can't see the print itself. Well, we did m mention that the white was not functioning properly. Oh wait, extrude. 
There you Here go. Here we go. So, uh, I just... Oh, wow. It's jammed. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, I have to... I have to unjam it. Can I have yeah. a stool? Can I have a stool? <laughs> okay, hold on. So this is the best comment of the night. Oh, I, I closed it. <laughs> uh, aliens confirmed. Yes, correct. That super sounded like like an X Files like like thing. Yeah. Do 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 do. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, now I can't see the. There we go. Oh, dang it. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Is that a 1994 call? Nokia wants their tone, ringtones back? <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, practical printing. Yes. To be fair, and this is according to chat, not to me, but I mean also me, uh, you're the one who loaded the right side, aren't you? Yeah, but I didn't make the <laughs> filament. I know. I'm just... This was, but it was the chat. It wasn't me. <sighs> right. <laughs> the real Jeff. Right extruder begins playing AOL dial-up. That'd be awesome. Yes. Aaron York. We will move the 3D printer to be more convenient when we aren't on a stream. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, my guess. Uh, so so here's my guess. I think that. I think that the extruder's fine. I think the filament was out of spec. I think it loaded in something too large, and it's not able to get it down into the throat. Oh. So the, it's jammed, <laughs> like hardcore. Have to take apart type jam. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, jammed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you can see it on the on the stream there on the on the cam one, but there is a straight up just like here is this filament right there. What are we looking at? The oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That string. was that was it trying to load the filament, but I'm uh it's it's jammed. Like I the extruder starts to grip the filament, but then it can't push it. It can't push it through. Oh, so it's just done. Well, let's, let's just see what happens, you know? Yikes. Wow, the motor is... Wow, the motor over here is on fire. So it may have been heat creep. <laughs> oh, We might have no. got melted filament, yeah, because the oh. motor is on... It's just, it's like hot to the touch. It hurts. So there's a chance that um, the the extrusion side, the cold side, got hot, and the right. PLA expanded in the jam. Yeah. Wow. Feel, feel the motor. Feel the motor. I'm serious. Am I gonna like have to go to the hospital to touch no, this motor no, no, or what? No, it's just a lot hotter than it should be, especially when you feel the other one. What am I feeling with this right here? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Like considerably hotter. Yeah, it's it's hot enough to my guess is cause some issues. Yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, it is not cool. In fact. Well, no, I, I mean it's not really cool. In any sense of the word. So the motor is too hot to touch. Yeah. So it is not the filament's fault. Mate, well, it could, it, th there's a number of things that could have happened. Jackets on, boys. Uh, <laughs> to your stepper drivers, boys. So, uh, we're dead. Should have updated the firmware, someone said. Sure. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, I don't think we can continue. 
All right, first print. Well, we can take a look at it. Sure, I mean, we can. Yikes. Oh no, that's not the jacket. The jacket is back out, I'm sorry guys. Look at it. Okay, right here, do you want to get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got Welcome. Looks Vil like it did a ditto print. Vilkomen. Vilkomen. Yeah, I can't see the black at all. Really? It's in shadow. Yeah, it can looks you, can, so good. Can you tilt it? Right there. The black filament looks fantastic. You can see that there were some problems with the white. Remember it was getting kind of spongy? Yep. Now we know why. Now yeah, we know why. All right. Is the giveaway over? <laughs> uh, that bed issues. is stunning, right? That tape, that capped on tape. Well, that's stunning. Yeah, that's stunning. Let's see. Let's move Z down. Cantilever floating bed design equals oscillating bed during high, oh, it's high print speed and jerky movements. Okay. Maker 3D printing, death by creep heat, $4.99. Are you out of your mind? What's happening? Stop it. Is it printing? No, I'm. What are you doing? I'm, you move... trying to, I'm trying to move the, can you the move bed to the, down. Can you move to your right a little bit? Thank you. Sorry. That's right. That way they can see you here. The print bed a little bit. Oh, there oh, we no, go. No, I'm going the wrong way. Check the fan on the right side. There's someone said. There's no fan on the motor. On the hot end, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the hot end, but not the motor. No, no, not the motor. So those are visible. Let's heat up extruder two. Uh, yes. Joel breaks another pricey printer. <laughs> How do I? Oh, there we go. Two. Okay. Oh, look at that. Fan's not going? 100%. They are correct. The hot end, the, the fan to cool the hot end is not moving. <laughs> there you go. Whoever said fan. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's the problem. That's why everything's so hot. That's why we're getting heat creep. Yep. And uh, so the right nozzle's dead. Until I can get a fan. Well, there you go. Okay. Can I turn it off? Yeah. That, I mean, that's 100%. Like, there is a clear difference in quality between black and white. Yeah, there we go. Well, shoot. Who gave 100 bucks? Whoa, what? Did I miss that? I didn't miss that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It just hangs around a while. It's AZ Cowboy. Oh, yeah, yeah. AZ. Okay, so... Uh, is it unplugged? The fan? Yeah. No. Well, okay. I don't know. I'll have to take the extruder apart. <laughs> it doesn't look like it is. Yeah, but we really can't. The Ninja Workshop. Hi, Sean. Hi, Ninja Workshop. Hello. Um, could be a bad board. Looks like the fan's plugged in, from what I can tell. There's a breakout board, and there are, I mean, all the wires are going into it. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll really have to, like, really uh, get into it and, like... I would have to take apart a lot of things. Johnny 5 disassemble. And uh, at 10.45 at night, I don't think that's the right thing. And mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to CraftBot, because, right. honestly, this should have arrived working. Right. Correct. Is this direct drive? Yes, this is direct drive on both sides. Yep. Uh... We've click been streaming for a while, and click this on, is... Uh, click on settings and choose fan, someone said? No, no. So the fan on the hot end, the right. one that creates that cool zone, that, right. that break between the hot and the cold zone, Yeah. 
there should be no setting for that. It uh, should be an automatic thing. Once the hot end gets above 50C, 40C, the fan kicks on. I gotcha. And it's not. Or it should just be on with the machine. Like, if there's no reason to not have it on. And it's just not on. Uh, listen, I'm going to talk to CraftBot. I think what we need to do, we need to uh, do a giveaway. I think. Yep. 286 responses to the giveaway. And... Uh, Worldwide. I, really, I just, I'm so... I'm so sad. I, I wanted this to work. I know. I mean, it was working until the fan. Like... Uh, sure, it'll go until it can't go no more. Right. And, uh, I mean, the quality so far of what we've seen is good. On the working side, it On the working great. side, it looks great. Looks great. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, unplug and plug it back in. Thanks for that. Here, wait, where's the... Let's, see, let's just see. Maybe it'll do a start. Ooh, time. you straight up just turn that off? Yeah, I sure did. Hopefully it was cooled down enough. It was cooled down enough. If it wasn't, the fan should kick right back on, huh? <laughs> that's right, that's right. I mean, I power cycled it. I'll see if the fan comes on. Wouldn't that be something? It'd be something. It did work well enough to print the welcomes. That's right, the welcomes printed. So let's see, more with PLA, let's do that. And two. Ooh, I need to plug in this XF400. And there we go, at 60 degrees C, the fan should come on. It's not. And so it's it's not over here. Yeah, that is the that is the problem. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> we live to fight another day. Two hundred ninety one responses. Uh, we'll do the giveaway here in just a moment. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tweet this. Not tweet. I'm going to where post is the link. My, post the link. There we go. Jill the cord. Quick, get your entry in for filament. And then bam. All right, so we're not gonna go through and like jiggle the cord and disassemble the hot end. We just don't have that time right now. No, 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 not tonight. I, I'll get it done, and if it's interesting, I'll film it so they can we, we can uh, produce something about it. Right. And uh, if if all the cord jiggling and everything it doesn't work and all the things are plugged in like they should be, then I'll just talk to Craftbot and try to get a a fan. So, uh, according to the, the, the quality report, a max, uh, max heat stress run was done and fan function was checked. So, it could be that could something, be so, happened something, something happened in shipping. Something happened in shipping. There could be yep. a disconnection somewhere. Could be. I don't know. 294 responses. 294. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. For 500 people watching. I, I think so. It, I don't know what it is now, but... That's pretty good. 297. Okay, so now I just got to find a way to get the... Okay, I'm going to give you uh, two more minutes to get responses in that I'm not accepting anymore. We're at 298. You've got two minutes. Two minutes. Wild Bill, yes, there is a giveaway. You don't got to remember. It's like two, <laughs> Making it, a maker. It's like 2 a.m. for me. Did you check the fan for blood? <laughs> Practical printing. So far, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Inspector number five, dang it. Dang it. Yeah. Shipping something that big, I'm willing to bet it's just a shipping problem. It was the food and blood on the quality control slip. It's fair. It's fair. You, oh, you want to hold that up? I can show people. The what? food and blood. You want to put that up in the front? You like apples? How about them apples? That's all right. There it You've is. You've seen Goodwill Hunting, it's, right? Yes. God. God the no. creator no. makes sure that left fan is actually working. The left fan is working like a champ. Yeah, it has. It has been. I, I have. I have seen it. Joel, have you tried the E Cube Maker toy DIY? I have not. 
Cody Haley, sorry, late to the party. It's okay. This party's rocking. Make sure you get your Aloha, entry into the giveaway. Aloha, Gunners. Aloha from Hawaii. Aloha. Has anyone seen a Karate CRX Pro in person? That's a good question. Uh, no, the not. Twitch jester, Joey never said if you're going to get the CR30. Honestly, whatever I think about whether or not I'm going to get it or not is moot until I talk to Creality and if I'm offered the machine. And at that point, I will make the decision. Nick Darrow, the manufacturer is going to hate you guys. I don't think it is. I don't think they are because uh, this isn't my fault. And I'm not the one that put food or blood on the quality checklist. Right. Uh, you know, and it... And it Based could on, be a shipping issue. It could be a shipping issue. It could not be. It might not be their fault either. You know, it could just be a shipping issue. Mm -hmm. That's right, Dave Randall. So you can do single extruder prints until you get the fan sorted, and that is correct. Yeah, absolutely. But um, my curious mind wants to know more, so I'll probably take apart the right extruder before I do another print on this, and that will probably be yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Zappy, any idea when the... Oh, message retracted. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> Not just me. How many printers do you have now? We, uh, we covered that. We did. We was, covered that. It was there close was to 39. 40. In, in this building. Yeah, in this building. Okay. 10 seconds to get... Wait here. I'm going to post it one more time. One more time. Get your, get your entries okay. in. It is global. Ten global. seconds. Okay. For these Global. spools of filament. Global. Here we go. I'm turning off accepting responses in 10, 9, 8, 7, seven 6, six five, 4, 3, 2, 1. And since there's a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to 10 because there's that delay. So there's, one, a, there's a delay. Two, you should probably keep three, counting. Yeah, it's four, probably longer than 10 seconds. 5, 6, 7. Eight, nine, ten. ten -ish? Settings fan menu. That's not it. <laughs> I promise. 327 responses and bam, I just flipped the switch. We are not accepting responses anymore. Hey, you know what? That was a big jump. It was like under 300 before. Yeah, we're, so. we ended at 329. Yeah, that's great. That's great. We ended at 329. Okay, so now we're going to pick uh, 10, right? Yes, 10. 10, okay. Uh, yes, at least 10. We'll, and if there's more, we'll, we'll email you. Okay. Here we go. I'm getting that. Uh, does not include stream delay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. He did. I tried. Boy, we got a lot of... Okay, so... Let's see. Pick random row in Google Sheets. Okay, here Sorry. we go. Here we go. So I can select... Ten? Ten people? This row. This is... Uh, I'm going to go with the YouTube name. Okay. Okay. Stand by. Wow, there's a lot of entries. Boom. Okay, right click. And I'm going to randomize. Dave Randolph says, hey, I'm good up to 15. Wait, what? Dave Randolph says, I'm good up to 15, which I means I think that means he's supplying another five. <sighs> okay, so 15. <laughs> 15. 15. Okay. Uh, randomize. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? About to. So I'm going to select 15. Yep. Right? Yep. On, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 15. The 15th name. I was like, ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm going to just change the, the color of these just to make sure I know that these are the winners. Okay. Uh, 15 spools of Jesse PLA filament. You get to pick a color. You get to pick the filament size. And this is going to be shipped anywhere in the world, depending on where the winners are. 
the names, I will call out the YouTube names, and if your name is called Fantastic, expect an email from me. Uh, if your name is not called, I'm really sorry. Don't worry, Loyal Moses is sponsoring a Prusa Mini giveaway, and I've got two King Rune machines to give away as well. Ooh. So we'll get those going pretty soon. Really? Here we go, here we Look go. At that Mini. Ready? Not in any specific order, but Rem Thompson, Winnie Watterson, Powell51, Matt Vasquez, Brian Franklin71, Dominic Tesla. Well, let's see. This would be Visionary Coder, Jeff Sawyer, Uba Snork. That's sure. A, that's a fun name. Steven Bosma, Isat Norden, Jeff Jones, Sajin Dinger. KR0N05, which I would imagine is Kronos. Yes. And last, but certainly not least. Certainly not. Bob Carnes. Yes. Yeah, Bob, Car Bob Carnes is a big fan of Sean's. I know that. Yes. Yep. Love it. Yep, yep. So there's 15 names there. I will, um, I have those 15 email addresses. Expect an email from me trying to get shipping information, and I will CC Dave over at Printed Solid, so we'll get shipping information and size requirements and all that kind of stuff, but this is saved in the cloud, so I can now close my laptop, and... Uh, congrats to all those who congrats won. Congrats to the winners. Congrats to the winners. Yeah. This was highly unexpected. <laughs> a big thanks to Loyal Moses for starting this uh, crazy journey. Uh, a big, big thanks to Dave over at Printed Solid. Can't thank you enough, sir. That's that's amazing. The team at R3D, you guys have been The team great. at R3D, oh Holy my cow. gosh. Everyone that jumped in with those super chats, yeah. man. Everyone, oh. everyone that helped out with that, that's incredible. What's really great, so when we stream like this, I try to take time out of the day to do it. We could stream during the day, uh, that can happen sometimes, but yeah. for one reason or another we couldn't do it, so that's why we went with this late night stream. Right. The goal wasn't to stream late late at night, but no. I mean, it just kids had uh, baseball, softball practices. We had work to get done during the day, so this is why we did this late night stream. And just having the support from so many wonderful people watching and so many kind people chipping in, yeah. it just makes my heart grow. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's been incredible. It's been an incredible experience. Like we didn't expect any of this, and that's just that's what's so great about and this. Look, five <laughs> bucks from Loyal Moses. Uh, I don't, that, I'm gonna I'm gonna. That's a, that's a milkshake. Yeah. Thanks for the milkshake, bud. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So listen, thanks to everybody who watched. I'll do my best to talk to Craft Unique, get this worked out. Um, if you enjoy these live streams, then we'll try to stick to the once a week schedule. I had my daughter Sydney help with the Proust Minis last week. Yeah. We had Sean with the Craft Bot right here next Wednesday. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, we can do something else. we got a giant pile of printers over there. Maybe we sure pull do. something else out. I got some special ones that hey. actually would be really cool. Big thanks also to David, our producer, who helped oh, yeah. us with that that Google thanks, Docs. Thanks, David. Yep. I think I think he retired for the evening. He did. He did. He's, he's an in, early to bed, early he's in, riser. He's in bed, but we got to make sure we, we let he's, you guys know he's, 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 he's a he's a hiking at six a.m. sort of guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, which great, 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 great. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, and now before I go, I just want to give the Sean the floor because he's only here for a bit. So, Sean, what do you got to say? Thank you so much for participating in our great giveaway. That was, uh, I mean, and, and everyone who donated to the cause, that was fantastic. Uh, I just enjoyed being here, man. Like, it's great being back here. I'm looking forward to more of these. Uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, anytime, bud. All right, well, you know what? If you made it this far, you're awesome. Thanks again for all your support. Love you all, and from a safe distance, high five. High five. I don't have an exit slide. Do we just fade to black? I think, uh, sure. FTB. There she goes. There we go. Mike's still 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 yeah, yeah, Mike's, Mike's, Mike's still are always hot. Hey guys, you can't see us, but we're talking. There's a show that I watch online all the time that like, um, they, they do like, you know, the stream starts soon, right? Yeah. And then they, and then they, uh, they have their mics that are hot, but they have that graphic up and they always pretend like you didn't hear them before the stream. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, but, but they know that they also, they know that you, that you can hear them, right? So. That's amazing. Yeah.